nicht genug. Stretch. Okay. Who is ready for those? Mm. Oh, hey, I have a. I'm gonna hit that button. Is it gonna work this time? Probably not. Still says update. God damn. Am I pretty quiet? Hmm. Eh. Did you did you turn me down by accident? Nope. Part of those old music. Just the song. We're still here because we're still here because we're here for our own. Clearly. <laughs> Also because I've been planning on doing this for a while, and it, I, I mean, kind of know why it took this long for me to get to this, but hey, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I wanted this Saturday, but considering what ha considering I was busy, I had to push this off to Tuesday. <clears throat> well, I didn't have to push off to Tuesday, but you know. But made you sense did the time. anyway. Anyways. <clears throat> There we go, now the button's working. Had to refresh the stinking page. All right. We're not gonna be doing the Roma rolls immediately for the record. I wanna kinda wait a little bit before we really get things started. Part of it's also because I wanna try doing, I wanna do some stuff with it, but anyway. We'll be doing the Roman rolls, Roman rolls in a little bit, but first let's go ahead and get visuals up for everybody. Hey gotcha. Alright. I keep the audio off for just a little while longer. So yeah, we are we are relatively prepared i think we're relatively prepared ish for this role for for the process of trying to roll for for uh romulus but anyway let me turn that off and we can get the actual Monsieur. audio on Monsieur Wright, could you do me a favor for favor for favor for favor for favor the quality for favor thank you those tacos anyway <laughs> Those lost tacos. Lost those tacos. <clears throat> of course I am. I'm ready to have a Roma day. Roma! Roma! Anyway. Hey, okay, speaking of Rome, there he was. He just cycled through the banner. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before we do the Roman roll. So, for, so it's kind of kill a little bit of time while, while we're waiting for people to kind of, kind of get things going, ish. <laughs> Apparently, Skeletor also says I sound turned down. Come on now. 
I don't know. How do I sound now, chat? <laughs> yeah, we have a couple of rank ups I can do on the side while we're kind of waiting for people to kind of trickle and then we can start up the rolls. Ooh. Caster coup rank up too. Nice. Caster and Martha. Both, there, of, both of them, I think, have two rank ups, so this will this this will give us something to work with for a little bit. Let's see. Oh. oh, look, there's my there's my Vinci. Are are you just gonna tactically nuke it with a wa uh, waiver or a Merlin like you usually do? I mean, I could. <laughs> I could I'm not saying that. you should, but. You always seem to. Okay, now you, you sound a little. Nothing... Now you sound a little too loud to me. <laughs> Working on that. There we go. That should be a little better. We gotta find a bit of a. We gotta have a bit of a balancing act going on here. Apparently. Yeah, I, be able I to need to do. I doing need that. to do ember farming anyway. My poor Scott. Hey. Uh, Sc my poor Scotty's getting a little overworked. I should be able to just throw my my daily farming thing at this and call it and just work on no problem here. Hey, Wilden. Hello, Wilden. <sighs> yeah, I just threw my super scope on Lancelot, double Scotty, and it just three turns everything, and I do mean everything. <laughs> So how's everybody doing today? How's everybody's uh, Tuesday going? Mine's been all right. I watched as many episodes of Comey. Can't communicate. I can while doing some grinding. Mm. And then I, I started watching a show that's coming out this season that I'm excited for. Oh yeah, I did notice you were in the general voice chat like a little while ago, uh, Wilden. Like, mm -hmm. Back in the back earlier this afternoon, last I checked, it's like... Yeah, we, we, I, I, we were chilling yeah. with Wilden. Uh, so, so, White, how, how do you feel about a show where it's... The hero decides he's done being a hero, and instead wants to join the Demon King's army? <laughs> Why does that sound familiar for some reason? It's a show called I'm Quitting Heroing. I, I think the alternative title, the uh, obvious title for that one was Live Long Enough to Become the Villain. <laughs> he was, he was, the, he, he, oh yeah, he also wants the Demon King waifu. Of course and he I, does. I, and I don't blame him because she's kind of cute. <laughs> mm. do, 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 do. A time traveling Roman guy, really. Also, um. Hmm. I guess I could do this while we're kind of just kind of mucking around doing this uh, rank up. I'm gonna set up a prediction for this, for the, uh, like, like we do with all the major, like, what we try to do with all the major, like, roles. So, let's see. I'm gonna let this poll go on for a couple minutes while I'm waiting while people are kind of waiting to kind of get things going. Say, or when people kind of trickle in, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna let this go for a little while while we're doing this rank up. So. All right. Here, White, just just to show you, I, I might have taken a screenshot of what she looks like. <laughs> 
I'm gonna let this poll roll. I'm gonna let this uh, prediction roll for a couple minutes because I want. I'm still waiting for people. I'm still kind of waiting for everybody else to pop up. So, there we go. You guys got plenty of time to get kind of get your feet in for that. Wait, there's a blue stacks ten. I thought there was only up to five. That should be about the time. That should be about the time I need to get this rank up uh, taken care of. If not another one. I'm still raising loose X4 on my end. I haven't watched episode yet, so can't say much. Ah. Well, what's it called? Hmm? The show the that show? DJ was talking about. Time traveling Roman guy? Yeah, this little... So far, 24 point K per, uh, points. Therme, Rome, Nove. Ah. It's the, uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm kind of letting this pull, oh, this prediction run for a little, a couple longer, a little longer than usual. So oh, people have I time to kind of show up and, and see it before we do our actual polls for Rome. So everybody has a chance to kind of put their put their like two cents of whether or not we are actually going to get Rome or not. Dude, I do like doing this. I don't think it'll still let me do the prediction. Really? Yeah, because I'm mistaken. Like mo mods can't actually participate in the predictions. <laughs> No, but if I do it in my, I, I oh, I, oh, there's an option of I still want to participate. Mm. And honestly, I have seventy-two thousand trail points, so. Oh, someone just put twenty-five for no. Nine, <laughs> of course, for stricken nine. Well, we've got a, a decent amount ready to go for this for this potential role. I I understand. Like, it, it keeps things interesting. It keeps it does keep things interesting. Three points if you get three points if you hit them. <laughs> I, I I just put five hundred for yes. Cause I believe in you, White. <laughs> Not very Rome of you. <laughs> <laughs> Not very you. <laughs> That was a very Rome Rome of you. <laughs> Shouldn't you be like saying something else on top of just Rome? No, just say Rome twice. Roma, Roma. Come on. Good thing I'm from space. Wait, Nine, does that mean you're the, are, are you- wait, hold Nine, are you the foreign god that we're fighting against in this game? Is that what's going on here? Kuro Neko no Roma. I hate how you- how, how casually you made that work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, I, I, I listen to I listen to Neko Pancakes pretty much on a daily basis. In in an effort to boost my luck in when I uh, inevitably rule for her come summer. I should probably just jump the assassin because neutral class. This won't this won't kill the whole way at all, I think. I might kill the two, uh, Lancers, but it won't- uh, not Lancers, Sabres, but it won't I kill the I just saw assassin. a zero on that. <laughs> well, I, that's the bonus damage from the o from the o from the uh, overcharge that's supposed to pop off, but since it has zero damage at overcharge one, it's just a zero. <laughs> yeah. 
his God, this is gonna be like the second summer I have done in FGO where I'm gonna be going hard for a costume. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we get this thing gets stopped on and then cut in half. <laughs> Also, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, JP event should be popping up. Uh, should be a bit for me. It's like in a couple hours, right? It'll be an event, I think. Pretty sure. Which will pop up tomorrow. Oh yeah, July. I, I am excited for what the summer coming up. The summer event. Mm. Whatever that might be. Eh. Right, are you? Why are you going to be rolling for Summer Kiara, considering how good she is on JP for you? I haven't really used Kiara in a good while in JP. Really? You uh, used her a lot, though. I did. I have, to be fair, although not recently. Abatrock kind of took, kind of stole her spot. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going hard for Summer Abby. I might try... Hmm. It'd be nice if I got Murasaki or, um... Tomoe. But oh, honestly, Abby is the one I want. That makes sense. This is Martha. This, this, this makes yeah, this sense. is Martha. <laughs> this is Martha! Just cuts to a picture of Finnegan. Batman from just... From, like, the freaking Batman v Superman movie, like, freaking out. Then again, I might throw... I might throw all roll for the boys' banner just to see if I can get Sigurd on my main account. Well, this might kill Bunyan, unfortunately. So Murasaki is a really is a strong rider. I I also have a lot of strong riders already, so it's like I was trying to scale first thing. I I know. I, I was I was. Oh yeah, no Bunyan's dead. Nope, not just barely alive. Barely survived that. <laughs> really? Barely alive. How do you know that name? <laughs> Which one? Actually, I could probably get away with just doing this. Just Buster Brave just Buster Brave Chain this. Brester Brave Chain. Brester Brave Brave Chain. Brester Brave Chain. I should have to have it to have it enough. Just cut this dragon in twain. And if that doesn't work, just blow it up with all the force of a universe. <laughs> Alright. Oh, level up from that. Uh, Mystico's actually maxed out now. Nice. Yay! Good stuff. Not only are you getting rank ups, you also <laughs> maxed out Mystico. That's impressive, honestly. I guess the miracle ranked up, and now we need now she gets her now we need to get her third skill unlocked because no think, just big red button. Just jo just big red button. Just like smash the big red button. <laughs> also, way I have some exciting news. Perk only beat him, uh, London. Mm, nice. <laughs> I don't know how. I just powered through it the rest of the, the entirety of today. Uh, let me just... Who, who is it? Who does? Hello. Hi, Tommy. That, that is a... Tommy Wiseau. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you that... liked it for a second, then you noticed the freaking Astolfo. No, no, I, I was... I, I didn't get really a chance to look at that. But I respect the fact that they have a level 100 Kagatora. As do I. I think I saw another level 100, but kind of. I, I, took, I, took I took a quick glance. Anyway, we're almost the predictions uh, timer's about to end. If you still haven't done your prediction, go ahead and do that real fast. You still have like a, a little less than a minute to do it. Put whatever points you want to put in there for whichever one you want to go for, whether it be us oh getting my him God. or not. It, it, it... Why it's dead tied with a difference of two points. Yeah, I see that. Like, it, there's a. It is. <laughs> it's actually kind of. Oh, no, nope, there it go. It's going back up. <laughs> it's kind of freaky just how, like, close it is. Mm hmm. Either way. 
prediction is about to end, and once it does, we will begin the summonings for Roma. We have over 300 quarts, 23 summon tickets. We have a good shot of this. Either way, let's get this show on the road. Remember, let's do it. Let, let, let's start with a few tickets, just kind of warm up a little bit. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> whenever you're doing this, you have to do the pose, like with your arms. Just the entire time it's, the summoning is going on, just gotta have, have your arms up in the air, like, 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 roll. <laughs> <laughs> in P5 or nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, like, uh, you say. Uh, uh, oh, hello there, my dear Yunosuke. I don't know if I can hold my arms for this. I'm gonna be like going back and forth, just so have to click through it. Oh, let's begin the rules. I'm also gonna be doing a, a like a blind standing over all this at some point. Hi, kid, Gil. We're not Roman enough. Ah, shit, you're right. Rule. <laughs> Why you need more narrow? It's not Roman Clear enough. Clearly, I need more narrow. <laughs> clearly. I need more Umu power on my side here. Side so, so, you note, regarding Umu, did you see the video I sent you a while back of just all the time she said Umu? Oh yeah, I saw that. Some mad lad actually did that. Whoever did that, I salute you. In it, in it. All right. Let's go ahead and do a 10 pull. Let's start with the first 10 pull list. Let's go. Let's go! First 11, 10, 11 pull, whatever you want to call it. Go, start with gold rings right out the gates! There's, it's a berserker. Who dis? Oh, hi, Alante. It's a the altar. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, yeah, good start. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's yeah, pretty yeah, yeah, decent yeah. start. <laughs> a mage craft. Oh, by a gem craft. Hmm. Good stuff. Copies of, this, of the altar is that at this point? Oh, a decent amount. We got a good amount of copies of her over the course of like us playing this game. Hello, Hohenheim. Yes, hello. You need a potion? It'll make you know, it'll cure you of your of your weariness. I, you, I tr trust me. It won't it won't, it won't yeah, knock you out for like I, five I million like years. You, I feel like you might have needed the potion from the sheer fact that Herc broke you like the Batman. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just imagining, I... <laughs> considering how long Hohenheim actually is, like, especially if you, could, if you do the, like, the April Fool's art, it's kind of hilarious, that image. I don't think he can break his back, I don't think he has a spine, he's just like a snake. <laughs> he's just a snake. Another art of death. Hey. I see Gios is around here somewhere giving us Ryonosuke. <laughs> First copy oh, of this right. C. It's one of the newer it's one of the newer ish ones. I think it came out with this banner, didn't it? I don't think it came from this banner specifically, but Hmm. Either way, nice to have for our first copy of that one. Neat. Oh hi Bodica. Hi Bodica. Hey, did you hear you got an indirect buff recently? <laughs> I did hear about it, it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, uh, about the Hail Hydra. About that. <laughs> You're not gonna like how they how they did it. Mm -hmm. You might not like how they how they went about it. All right, that's uh, our first. As long, uh, as long as they're doing something with me, that's all that matters, right? Uh huh. Nobody nobody say anything. Nobody nobody tell her. All right, let's go ahead and do the second ten bolt. Let's begin. All right, starting off with the servant. What do we got? Caster. Want the casters? Hey, look, a lot of golems. golems. <laughs> Specifically, oh, golems. <laughs> Lots of golems. I, I, I think I made the joke yesterday of Avisi Brog's favorite childhood game being uh, Bakugan, which makes way too much sense. I I, I I hate how accurate that is. 
It's funny because a lot of I'm seeing a lot of Bakugan recommendations in my in my YouTube feed lately. I don't know why he just he just popped up again out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. He's just making a, res a weird resurgence out, out of the blue, and I don't understand why. I mean, I liked it growing up. Don't get me wrong, and I actually have a couple of figures still lying around the, around here somewhere. But it's like I have a I have a whole ass collection of them. Oh look, it's Keo. Hi, Keo. Uh, uh, not much so far, Sir Wilden. Uh, so far, at least one copy of a Neal of a Neal Alter. And that's about it. We got a couple gold seas along the way, but so far it's just it's just a uh, one copy of the Alter, and not too much uh, ha has happened quite yet. Lots of casters. Yeah, a lot oh, of look. casters. Weirdly enough, <laughs> no Roma, not <laughs> yet. But we're we're just starting, so. Yeah. Oh look, we got a clown and a potion of you. I have my arms out for you. Lend me your energy, people. Stream chat, lend me your energy. <laughs> We will create Rome with our own hands! Oh. <laughs> but first, we have to get all these casters out of the way! Have we gotten almost every single three-star caster so far? Well, technically we can because Giel's and Ku caster, but you know, you know. I think that's the only two I've yet to see. Oh, look, Bodica again. And it's because they're they're not available in like the standard like polls. It's like story rolls, I think, for those two specifically, or just like whenever they're on raid up. Yeah. Hello, clown. Are you Rome? All right, let's do a couple ticket pulls real fast. I, I love the I love and hate the fact that Dice CE gets a reaction out of me every time it shows up. <laughs> it really does. I love that. To be fair, that clown is associated with a lot of bad memories. <laughs> oh yes, yes it is. I have full right to be, you know, concerned. <laughs> Another VC. What's wrong with the VC bronze? We he wants us to consider the practical application of Golem. I don't see. I'm sorry, but is this a Roma banner or a, or a three star cast or Reina banner? What is going on here? <laughs> Let me ask you: Are you my Rome? <laughs> are you my Rome? Roman? Oh. I thought you said Golem. <laughs> Crap, you're right. <laughs> For God's sake! What's wrong with the NPC Bronze? NP69 of BC Bronze, let's go. NP69. <laughs> once, once, we, once we do get Rome, we're going to use a VC, all the topics of BC Bronze to create a new city of Rome with all the golems. That's what's going to happen. You'd be down for that, you know it. Oh, look, it's an ancient. Hello, Hidden Leaf Lancer. All right, our first uh, two pull from the uh, tickets. Our first, our first double. Our first double or nothing. It's probably gonna oh, be nothing. Every one of the VC bronze has the Roman traits. Oh hey, didn't we just beat you up? Well, class is Rome, by the way. He's a lancer. Rome was not built in a day, but it could have been with golems. <laughs> could have, but unfortunately, they were not there. For that. Okay. Uh, I have an idea. I have an. I have a couple of uh, little pictures I did find that I think would be fun. I think would be funny to show for this one for uh, some catalyst stuff. It's been a while since we last tried a cal uh, like a catalyst for this, but either way, I found this lovely. Answer I, as, he, as his light says, these hands are his spears. <laughs> I found this adorable comic recently. Uh, let me make sure it's reset. I found this adorable comic. It's gonna be a little big, so pardon me for a second while I get this all sorted out. It's comic of Rome and a little Okita, and at the very bottom is just her doing the pose. <laughs> it's great. This comic is great. But yeah, I'm gonna put that there for a second. I want I want to use this as a catalyst image for now. While I get that sorted out. Give me one second to kind of just get that fixed. I specifically want this image. Everyone is Rome eventually, this included. <laughs> I put her away for a second. Sorry, Neo. One, a little while later. A little, late, a little later. For now, 
I love this pose. <laughs> the Waikutsu pose Aww. is beautiful. I love It'll it. Be done. All right, let's go. I'm also gonna stand up and do the pose now. I am currently standing and doing the Roma pose. It's a rider. It's. Hey, it's I know Alex. I don't have camera for this, but uh, you just gotta okay. take my word on that one. <laughs> How's everybody doing down there? Doing well? One assassin. Look at this. It's a hundred personas. Holy man, Shroud. That's not bad CE, at least. That's not bad. Holy Shroud's a good CE. It is. It can be used for some pretty fun shenanigans if you have, if you know what you're doing with it. Hi, Irene. Bye, say lives. <laughs> that took me a second to process it. That took me a second to kind of process <laughs> that one. Oh, look, it's another silver caster. I I'm sorry, White. When did you change your name to Mist? Don't make jokes. <laughs> Listen. I gotta be comedic around here, besides you got another piece of pride! Don't make jokes! <laughs> I refuse to let this become a missed incident! Hi, <laughs> Tofu. Oh no, it's a no, it's a tofu incident. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Yorokobe incident. <laughs> Yorokobe. Alright, I'm gonna sit back down for a little bit. I'll do like a, a blind roll, like, in a second. He's not missed until the Anastasia <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a regular blind roll, and then I'll, and then I think I'll do one like blind roll while doing the pose. After that, we'll do we'll go back to tickets. Mm -hmm. All right, so blind roll. Now. Now, eyes closed. My eyes are closed. I cannot see anything. I can hear it though. I should probably take the headphones off for a little while. Actually, no, I need to make sure I can actually know what's going on over here. So yeah. For now, I'm just gonna leave the headset on, but I'm gonna like keep, keep my eyes closed. See? All right. Hmm. Yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the headset on. I'm like kind of flip flopping between whether or not I should have the headset on for this or off. Either way. There's another servant. Who it alright. No one knew. Okay. Another servant. Still don't think we got anything crazy out of this quite yet. Let's at least I don't think we have. Alright. New new thing is a new servant! New servant! I don't know who it is though. My eyes are still closed. Another servant, I think. Okay. Another, okay, we already had that servant, whoever that was. Another servant, a lot of servants in this role from the looks of it, from the sounds of it, I should say. All right, anything new? Nope, old servant. That's a CE. Okay, cool, CE, lovely. Mm, I think we're almost at the end of this roll. This 10 pull, 11 pull. Getting close. 
Let's see, I think. No, it's a servant. Anyone new? Survey says... Nope. What about this one? Still have my- I have my arms in the air! Roma! Wait. Who this? Oh, hi, Helena. Hi, Helena. Okay, okay. We made the joke about it being a mist- not being a mystery, but we got spooked by a gold caster. God damn it. <sighs> Well, Helena's still nice to have around. Didn't have her before. That's good. All right, let's do a couple of frame points. We'll kind of clean off the, uh, kind of clean off what's going on over here. Would you like a matama? Oh wait, what the? Hmm. Ah. Wait. Who? Wait. Is God it dang it! <laughs> It's an angry mango. Mango, not now. <laughs> He's like, but I want to be here now. How many cop? Wait, is that like? That's. Wait, wait a minute. First copy and somehow has bond levels. No, I already had a copy of him. Then why did it say new servant? I don't know. I think it just does that whenever you get a new copy. When you get a copy of him, I think it's just that's program doing one like. Rare servants in the friend point gotcha. I think anyway. First copy of him every time for some reason. Also, hello, DK. It's just how it goes. Hey, DK. If your luck is that lucky, roam has to happen. Nine has a point. Uh... Your rolls are now blessed with grail shoes. Oh, no. I wouldn't call- I wouldn't exactly call that juice. Alright, let me go roll for Oberon real fast. Mmm. Oh, man. Archer. It's a Billy. Buenos Billy. That would've been, like, the perfect type for Jim to join the stream. <laughs> Would have been, but I think he's still, uh, that he's kind of busy at the moment. Still at work. So, not quite yet. Another Avisa, bro. Are we sure Jim's not here? <laughs> Are we sure Jim's not here? We've gotten quite a few copies of Avisa, bro, in this, in this, like, in this, during all this. Cast. Nice. I code cast. All right, another ten pull. Let's go. All right. Oh look, it's brother. I gotta make a knockoff one with the army of VC bronze and their golems if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Bold you to assume. I I believe I will eventually get him. I want, I really do want a Roma though. Hi, Robin. Hey, Robin. How you doing, buddy? I need to have a bit of faith with this one. Oh, it's Jekyll. Hmm. That <sighs> wasn't very Rome of you. Ah, totally. Believe in the Rome that believes <laughs> in you. In due time, all will become Rome. Speaking of Rome, hello there! Did someone call for Rome? Well, yes, we need a Rome, but not you, Rome. I am Rome, though. <laughs> All roads lead to Rome, and therefore they lead to me as well. Oh! Can I throw you out a window? No! 
for what if I want to? If you knock me down, I'll become stronger than you could possibly imagine. Oh. Columns are also wrong. Making a knockoff Rome is impossible. Uh. <laughs> Everything is Rome. Everything is Rome. Everything is Rome, I tell you! Everything is Rome! Rome? Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. like... Dang it! <laughs> Well, we got a panda. <laughs> I guess that's something. Pandas are also wrong. What are you talking about? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I do like her though, so MP2 of her is not bad. That isn't bad for me. I actually do like Panda Lancer. She's cool. All right, time to break out the big guns. Uh oh. We need a new Okitan, meme. Okitan not do, doing the uh, pose, not the big guns. No, I got I got something a little bit a little bit more a little bit more potent than this, I think. Something a little bit more potent than this. I've got Where is it? There you are. There you Wish are. Wish she was better. I need to Hey, don't you need to knock my Okitan altar like that. And... No, that was DJ saying. There we go! Gate of Roma! <laughs> Oh no. Oh god! <laughs> Gates of Roma, let's go! That's and... so much room! And I'm also gonna do a stand up blind roll for this. Oh. Alright, let's go! He'll go Rome. Pose, standing up, blind, eyes closed. Servant, all right. No one knew. You're ser a servant? <coughs> all right. Let's see. Servant. All right, anyone new? Anyone old? Let's see. Survey says... Uh... Old. Okay. How the heck does Goku do it for this long? With the posing? How he's do they do this? Saiyan. He's a super saiyan, so he... Well, I, was, I know Rome... I know, like, everybody, I know a lot of people characters do it, but it's like, that was the first one popped in my head. Aside from Rome, of course. I also that one night from Dark Souls. Praise the sun! Was that it? Yep. Okay. Nothing new! <sighs> Alright. Let's go back to some tickets real quick. Now, now do it while screaming at the top of your lungs the whole time. If I do that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get thrown out of this house, and I'm also going to get arrested by, like, I'm going to get so many complaints from all the neighbors around here. <laughs> as much as I would love to, I don't think I can get away with doing it <laughs> without getting so many complaints from both in the house and out the house. <laughs> oh, look, it's Genico. <sighs> hmm. 
My shoulders are actually getting tired from doing the posing so much. <laughs> but I will keep doing it, if need be. Hey, ba. Bird, guys. Hi, Brock. By the way, why can I just say it's still absolutely hilarious what happened last night? <laughs> Uh, oh, Because what? we- I- I- I it was getting to my- the end of my stream, and I'm like, oh, you know what would be funny? What if we raided white? Literally- Two seconds later, I up. beat you to the punch. No! I will raid you, and you will like it! And you will fight the Kraken for it, too! Wait, uh... okay. <laughs> Formal craft followed by Magic around. Okay, that's interesting. That's hilarious. No, please, please let it be. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought it was gonna be limited zero over for a second. That would have been funny. <laughs> just get the trifecta all at once. The trifecta. That would have been great. Ah, uh, all right. Arms in the air. Assassin. Assassin. Hey, Serenity. Serenity. I haven't done a swim, uh, like a summer serenity yet. I think would, you'd think they would do it at this point. Like, I feel like she would Who be. Knows? They gave her a costume, so why not just go for that too? Mm -hmm. Let's go! Can I get some Caesar Pogs in the chat, please, for that one? <laughs> just real quick. Just, just a little request from me to you guys. <laughs> yes, thank, thank, thank you, well then. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, you, you man. said some. You didn't say how many. <laughs> I did. I did not. That's true. I did not. <laughs> that indeed was very Rome. Indeed it was. Very much Rome. Very nice. Oh man, we got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, imagine uh, oh, I got nice. We could become even more Rome. That is true, we could. We could become more Rome. Maybe. Maybe we could. But I... Mm, what is it? Gaster? It's gonna be Sprawny again, isn't it? No, it's Meph. <laughs> but it's like... I also want to try saying for some other characters, too. Roma would... More Rome would be nice, but... Oh. Hi, Shinji. <laughs> Alright, here he is! そう。ここはそう。ならば私はこう言う。私はロムルス・クイリヌス。光のやりがごと Heck yeah, there look at, he is. Look at, all, look at all that gold in that roll too, as that, well. A lot of good, a lot of gold sees out of that. Necromancy from another art of death and another imaginary round. Element, nice. There he is, look at him. Look at him. Hey, you know what the good thing is, White? You still have a decent stockpile for Castoria. And we're gonna get more from whenever uh, that pops up too. All right, mm -hmm. well, we got Rome. Uh. Let's go ahead and get the prediction uh, thing taken care of for all you guys. I would say I, I can't do it because I, I vote. I, uh, and we got Roma. The prediction. All right. That was pretty good. We got we got the man himself. I won 2000 friend points from that. <laughs> Sweet. Worst part is you can't tend him out to the lost boat 5.2. Yeah, we're yeah. going to be waiting a little while longer for that. But yeah. All right. Well, all it's left to really do now is just to get, is get him like level up a little bit more. 
or try to anyway. I don't think we have a lot. I don't think we have that many like embers to burn though, unfortunately. I might have some in the second archive I could probably throw at him. Maybe. I have saber ones. Also, Fred is still in Fred. What? Fred is still in jail. What? Why is he still in jail? Because I felt like it. He kind of deserves it. Another one's in here too. <laughs> I forgot. And two, and two copies of Jaguar. Why are there two copies of Jaguar? No. Yeah. Well, because we have already have MP5, so I just kind of put her there to safeguard everything. Of course, it didn't work because last time we did that, she, uh, Fred stole everything else in here. I'm gonna take some of the saber, saber stuff out here because it'll, it'll still work. And now you're out of inventory space. Yeah. He needs eggs. Yeah. Uh, I think we have a few eggs in here somewhere for final. All right, well, let's go ahead and find them. H how many? <laughs> prods we got from that <laughs> we, got, we got six of vc prods from that six. and five like four four bodicas six of vc bronze a bunch of bavages can i say how beautifully beautiful it is the fact that edison and helena are right next to each other yeah, right that's so beautiful oh there's rome there you are under kid gill I also gotta like get the NP levels up for everybody who we are duplicates of. Oh yeah, you know like the uh, uh, the angry mango that we got. Angry mango, Nealter, and uh, Pandalancer. Ah, here we go. <laughs> the stickles. Uh, do I have anything I can just kind of throw in there? Uh, here, eat, eat, eat Brock. Oh, so. Alright, for Ascension, let's go. go and keep filling up as much as I can until uh, we can't quite do it anymore. I believe so, yes. So, Rome usually, for Roma in this variation, reverse themselves as a, as a they or us. Kind of like how uh, Mothman does. Nice. Ooh, we need some ring need some rings too. Yeah, we might not have enough to kind of fill them up all the way, from the looks of it. I think we can maybe get him to third ascension if we get a little lucky with like the uh, successes. Uh I think we have enough eggs. I think we have a decent a decent amount of eggs to work with for this, I think. Alright. Pop a couple of those. Yeah, we might be able to get into third ascension, but that's I, that might be where we have to kind of stop gap, because we're oh. running out of embers. Yeah, we're uh we're out of embers, I think, to kind of feed him. Oh, so We can get to the ascension. That's good. Although I'm not gonna lie, I kind of prefer his first and second forms. His third one's cool and everything with the, with the giant wings, but I still kind of prefer the first and second. Dejan, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't, don't. <laughs> We are Roma. Oh. 
Yeah, we, you know, we're fine on eggs. We're, we're fine. We are perfectly fine with eggs. Keep the Zerker ones out here, at least. Do I have any, like... Oh, yeah, I have a couple of spares in here, too. Oh, yeah, it looks like I got a decent amount. Oh. Yeah, now that, now that I listen to it more, it makes sense. Now I listen to it more, d -Gen? Yeah, I can hear it. I can definitely hear it. Four days... Four, yeah... Regular egg farming is is an absolute is 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 hell. Is actual hell. Oh. Mm, we might need to kind of yeah. We're not gonna be able to get him to uh, Lily at this point. Although maybe we could feed him a few other things. I mean, we did just get a bunch of Avisa prawns. We can throw them at it. No, I kind of want to. I kind of want to show Jim that when he gets here, though. <laughs> God, there's so many. Oh, so. Seventy-eight. We still have a few more in the in there, right? Maybe a couple more. Oh, a couple more. Uh, hang on, don't, no, 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 you guys, you stay, you stay there. You all stay right there. Don't, don't, don't even think about it. Yeah, this should get us, this should get us at least to level 80. To his final ascension. To the final ascension for, uh, Roma. I don't know if I have any servants that need eggs. Or how many eggs I even have. Pardon me. Eggs. I have 41 eggs. Hi, Jim. Uh, hey, good Jim. News. Good news. We got Roma. Nice. Oh, and also, hey, how hey, hey, did we get Roma? Yeah. Uh, look, look at, look at this. Look at this nonsense. You want to see how many copies of Beast Farm we got throughout all that? Look, look, look at this nonsense. <laughs> he showed up. Child's play. Six different times. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone through so many times, and I've had like, uh, like almost twenty copies of care of uh, like numerous champions after doing a uh, rolling spree. Hmm. Anyway, we can get Rome to final ascension, so that's good. Can't max them. We can't max them out quite yet. It is yeah. time for and we, we still have we we burned through most of our resources to try and get get Rome, but we still had a couple cores to spare. I think we had like ninety left over. Three rolls. Which we'll be saving for later. It's not bad. I guess look through level seventy. Uh, skill uh, level seventy and third ascension. Yes. Yes. Where even is... He's right here. Gotta work on these two. Where to start? This has the battery on it, so I definitely want to get the, the battery going for, uh, for Rome. Different tastes, I guess, DGen. I want to get to at least four or four, uh, at least well four on each on on each scale. Just make sure he has something to work with. They want Rome enough, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, not so Rome's can I just fault. say fuck storms? There was a storm last night. Started around three o'clock by the time I went to bed. Three separate fucking times, the lightning struck close enough to wake me up and rattle the windows. Uh. Damn. Sorry. Yeah, I know the feeling, man. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I I was about to make a Tesla joke. I can't do it because I don't have any apples. Yeah. Zeus. Zeus.
Yeah, well, take Zeus this. can kiss my ass. Actually, never mind. I don't think I want Zeus kissing my ass. <laughs> yeah, did, you want to rephrase that real quick? <laughs> you want to think about that statement? <laughs> uh, how much further can Be I take this? Be fair, Jim. If you got Zeus to kiss your ass, odds are you'll get turned into a goose. <laughs> More than likely. Or a cow. Or a bull. Or some kind of tree. Whatever, whatever uh, Zeus was dreaming of that day, essentially. <laughs> Alright, I think that's as far as we can go for levels for the time being, as we're kind of fresh, we're running dry on materials to level right now. Although, right now, let's go ahead and do some NP leveling. Starting with... wait. Oh, and P4 Nialta, really? Jeez. Almost got her MP5 at this point. Good stuff. And MP2 Panda Lancer. And where the frick is he? Where where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I haven't I haven't maxed out Gong yet? Oh, right, I kept a copy just- I, I, kept, I kept a free end of the copy just kind of for solo shenanigans. Um... Oh, yeah, ah. Jim, we also got- we also got spooked by, uh, Helena during all that. Yeah, yeah, we got- nice. we got Hel we got Helena, also we got an, another copy of, of Mango, apparently. Which is hilarious. What does more NP levels for Mango even mean? Not a lot, considering barely anyone uses the man. Okay, with all that being said, uh, shall we? High, uh, highest attack stat for Lancers barely beating out Karna. Actually, wait, can I do any more with you? Just double checking something. I can get you to level seven with that skill. I can't get in level six with the with the third skill though, because I don't have enough rings. I need more of these. I need more. Uh... I'm just gonna call this a pearl. <laughs> I have ten copies of the mango. I don't know what he does. He's a collector's item. Exactly. <laughs> He's a trophy. You need blue balls. Orbeez! You need a- there we go! They're Orbeez. Yeah, alright. Shall we go- oh, and here's the funny thing! Um, for, if I remember correctly, um, this is actually- this works out perfectly because guess who we're fighting next in Lost Ball 4? Oh. <laughs> oh, hi, Scarlet! Oh. Uh, hi, Abby! Why? Let me fix that. Jesus Christ, what's all the Fran ones? There's so many Frans! I know I keep a couple copies of like the of the like the XBCs just to make sure I have a just just just, just for the artwork, but still. Just get some space in there. I don't need that many copies of clean I don't need all those cleaner copies. Anyway, this works out perfectly. <laughs> All right. Shall we give our newfound Rome a test drive? Rome. Gotta get that up to 100 for maximum rewards. Wait, where's, uh... Ah, there it is. Yeah, still working on that. And 30, where are you at? There you are. And I'll leave. I'll, I'll have you as the anchor since you showed up anyway. Uh, ah. 
Wait, no, not that copy. The other one. It's a uh, higher level. There we go. I'll go ahead and put uh, nice in there too. Apparently, Rome also pairs nicely with Bodica, which is hilarious. Yeah, the, the there's an iron, there's a very sweet, sweet irony to that. See, the reason why is because Bodica has a skill that makes it so she does you do extra dam your party does extra damage to anything with the Roman trait, and Rome's entire gimmick is is stacking enemies with the Roman trait. <laughs> To quote a certain somebody uh, who made a video about uh, Rome recently, it's like the whole Sieg George combo, but like on steroids. All right, let's do this. Starry Nights. Well, that's also what we what else we going to. <clears throat> anyway. Let's get back to it. I think we were looking for Ashvataman, so we're gonna be going ahead and saying hi. All right, let's take the dial. It's going down. Oh wait, what? Wait, it's going a lot faster than normal. Wait, why it's going? Why it's going faster? Uh oh. Fuck you. That's why. <laughs> it's double timing it. We're already past the first cycle. That's not good. No, no, that's not. Anyway, there you are. That's my line. But what's this? Well, what do you know? I can't believe the quarry that got me that got away from me came back of her own accord. <laughs> I'm so happy it's actually pissing me off. I appreciate your reacting exactly how I thought you would. You must have known the Chaldeans were hot on your tail, yet you couldn't ignore my aura and couldn't resist waiting around for me to show up. I am so glad you're as simple-minded as you look. Now, Let's get to our grudge match, shall we? Oh, but do be warned, you'll be facing Chovo and his team this time around, and they're very tough cookies. You see, they do this ungodly annoying thing where they get stronger and stronger each time they do battle. I think I've heard of some monkeys doing that, but I'm not quite sure. Ha! <laughs> I never could tell whose side you were really on, woman. Let me ask you this, Josh Vatman. Would you be willing to tell us your whole story? What was that? <laughs> She's German? Not really, but I, I, that's kind of the voice I gave her when I first started this out, so I'm kind of just sticking with it. I'm a generous king, and I can tell what others are truly thinking. I promise I will never laugh at you, nor look down on you. What do you say? <sighs> Every one of you just makes me so freaking furious! I don't even know what you're talking about! What are you doing, Rami? I thought you could you could handle them. Thought I could, but seems this problem is not as easily solved with words as I hoped. We'll just have to pet him down and have him cool off more naturally. Oh, so we're gonna have to fight him after all? Great! I will help you, but what I said still holds true. Do not rely on me too much. There's no tell you where my poor luck could result in a fatal error. But you can't control at least a little, right? Like you did when you got all Tails arrows to hit you? A little, yes, but there are some areas that are still out of my control. Not to mention that all from that time is probably... Oh, Ash Vazman. You really are an awkward boy, aren't you? Ha! <laughs> you mean like the opposite of how you strut around in those fancy clothes of yours, X-Master? Well, I'm certainly less awkward than you. I keep my life nice and simple by doing whatever it takes to stay alive. Of course, that still leaves the question of what I want to do with my life once I keep it. So it's not easy being human, you know? We always want more. <laughs> Guess you really must be... <clears throat> enjoyed if you can say that sort of thing with a smile. Maybe I am kind of awkward by comparison. All I've got going for me is my anger. So it's only natural that anger would become my entire life. Living my life makes me angry, and my anger gives me a reason to live. Yeah, I know it doesn't make any sense. Just like I know that the moment my anger dies out, I won't be me anymore! 
So as long as I'm still kicking, I've got no choice but to keep my fury burning. To keep burning my whole damn life. And just goes in, okay. No music? Okay. Also, Nye in that image is 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 is, is hilarious. <laughs> that would have been that would have been perfect for that, honestly. Not gonna lie. All right, let's start off like this, shall we? Hmm. Mm, it's not a lot of stars really do that, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is. For now. Let's go with Hero Creation, though. Alright, let's see our first MP with the man. You're not a fan of Rome. Let's see. Oh, they'll hide it. Hold on a second. <sighs> they'll hydrate. Thank you for that. They'll hydrate. Yeah, <laughs> he did Akuma's Raging Demon for his extra attack. Cars going. Probably just have for later, actually. Ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. There we go. In your defense. No stack of the Rome uh, of an uh, MP ready to go. Sweet. Yeah, this this hand not so great. <laughs> and the more I, the more stacks of Rome this I stack on, the more damage this MP does. Which I think ten times, I believe. Yeah, the hand you just gave us, Magician, was not very Rome. I'll take that at least. Get some extra stars going while we're at it. That guy's got five stacks of Roman on him right now. He's he's becoming Roman whether he likes it or not. Oh, 
He is the rope. Roma. Not, not enough yet. Mm. I can do this at least. Five times a row. Who's clearly clacking? Sorry, I'm just. I'm. I'm typing! Mm. I know you are, but I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, my keyboard's so loud. I mean, mine's loud too, to be fair. Just the same. I pop that table right up. All right, time to bury you in Rome. More Rome. Hi, Moxie. Good test drive, I'd say. Oh, nice, bomb one already. <laughs> ah, we're going again, huh? Shall we? Shall we go again? How many times must I beat this lesson into you, old man? Who you calling old? You! <laughs> Jinako <laughs> says from the back line doing the uh, kanji get bit animation. <laughs> I see someone wants to chalk him in the face. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you mean. Hides in the statue. Mm. I'll just have to break the statue in half like a. like a glue. like crack it like an egg. <laughs> Please do not crack the statue like it is. Too bad I'm doing it already! Ah, Carter, help me! You brought it upon yourself. I know I said I'd always be with you, but not this time. This is your own fault. <laughs> oh, whoops, hold on. Put you there. But you were my servant. Too bad. You must face you the consequences of your me. actions. Anyway. We did it. But. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I knew he was going to heal himself again. Is he seriously immortal or something? Is that all you got? I can keep this up all- Is it just me, or is there something else mixed in there? It's not just the pain of regeneration. It seems as though there's something deeper eating away at him. Do you want to sit on my couch and talk about your problems? No, I very clearly do not! I just as I thought, Ashvataman. You're cursed, aren't you? Is it, I'm sorry, did you say cursed? That's right, of course, there are many different kinds of curses. I know I am subjected to one because I can't see my wife again. But for this, I believe I know what it is. Even as we speak, this curse is tormenting Ashvataman. Or rather, his servant spirit origin relentlessly. This curse must be so powerful that even a great warrior like him can remove it. I expect it is directly rooted in his destiny. Curse so deeply tied to his heroics that it's inevitable he will fall prey to it. Oh man, I know what it is. That's Krishna's curse, isn't it? Uh, hey, Captain, what's Krishna's curse? It's something that happened towards the end of the Great War depicted in the Mahabharata. 
As Schwarzman was overcome with anger at his father's murder and in coward act of retribution, he snuck into the enemy camp and killed them all in their sleep. Afterwards, he fired an arrow at the stomach of the pregnant mother of what had been, been the last child of the Kuru. But Krishna protected the baby and placed a dreadful curse upon Ashvataman's head in retaliation. One, one interpretation says that the curse would last for 3,000 years, during which he would be forced to endure all manner of pain and suffering. I would definitely have, been, have noticed if he'd been cursed like that when I first summoned him. So Arjuna must have put the curse on him after he stole my master contract from me. It would be well within his power, since he also possesses Krishna's divinity. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it all adds up. Ah, Shlatman, your mortality comes from being born with Yama and Shiva's power. And the curse you're dealing with now is too strong for you to remove on your own. I like to imagine that that was Da Vinci typing away, like, googling, like, what that all meant. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I'm not typing in with She a very of clearly ages. was Googling it. I can confirm this. Holmes, I'm going to steal your dust. I swear to God. Anyway, can your tiny shot. body even handle my dust in your state? Who said I'm the one who has to handle it? <laughs> so, you're trapped in a prison of endless suffering, and death offers no escape. <gasps> then, does that mean you have to do what Juno says, or he won't undo the curse? That's... not gonna lie, that's rough, buddy. <sighs> Shut. Up. Hey, at least I can imagine that curse going away once Sajuna finally has his so-called perfect world. Though either way, I guess that doesn't leave you much choice but to cooperate with him. SHUT UP! I'm so goddamn pissed, I can't stand it! I'm mad at myself for being so a uh, slave to my anger! For getting myself cursed! I'm mad at how goddamn weak I am! So weak that I have to obey Arjuna, my mortal goddamn enemy, just to escape this endless pain! All I can do is just keep getting angrier and angrier! <laughs> Arjuna's getting better than we've ever seen him, and that's impressive. Please be careful, Master. Shinne! Good night, Abby. Good night, Abby. Scarlet. God, I'm just imagining the the potion seller bit now, but with uh, Holmes and Da Vinci. Let's see. Got the first break bar in one go. Nice. Oh, well, there goes Merlin. <laughs> Poor Sap didn't, did not stand a chance with that one. Hey, Halo. Doing good over here. Hmm. Let's push that safely and call it a game. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Easy. 
Uh, what else? What do we got? Uh, yeah, you know what? Frick, I'll do it this way. Crit there, Rome. I think I did the taunt with Leonidas. Because <laughs> he just did that charge up. Did you get Roma? Um, we had 300 at the start um, and 20, 23 tickets. We ended with 90 quarts and 3 tickets. So we burned through a good chunk of resources to get that out of the way. But it was worth it, I'd say. Also, that, 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 and then this is kind of annoying. Oh, well. Leo chain question mark? Uh, I'm gonna make sure he can't do anything. I also want to make sure Rome can get his MP as well. I'll do like this. There we go, 100%. Yeah, it's hand. I think Hans wants to go. I'll, may I'll hand him a regardless because it'll get more stacks on him. Uh, any sort of ca catalyst? Uh, yeah. I, I used a couple of uh, side images, like the one you see over here with the Gate of Roma! Along with a few others that. I also did a couple of, like, rolls where I was, like, do just doing his pose and also blind while I was at it. Bunch of different stuff, and eventually we got him. Oh, the game just crashed. <laughs> well then. Hold on, I gotta fix some things actually. Well, if it's gonna do that. Give me one second while I uh, fix some stuff. Rome was so pwned, he utterly crashed the game. So while that's going on, uh, quick intermission, and we'll be right back. Once we come back, we'll have the game ready to go again. Mm hmm. Also, we're half an hour for GP stuff. Oh my god. to reset this completely. What the? There we go. That should fix it. I guess back to it. Go! Oh, I have to reset everything else too because because the freaking size. Hold on. I literally broke everything. Jesus. It's always fun. Bastards. Right? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, that should have everything fixed. Okay. So PS5, but there's a car figure I'm going on pre-order. I clicked on what to do. Yeah, that sh everything should be fixed now, hopefully. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're, we're essentially. Uh, the game crashed so hard they actually put us back at the start of the last turn. Uh, hey, why can we get visuals? I know. I know. Cute? I know. Jeez. Uh, I, was I wasn't accounting for it. To, I wasn't accounting for it to crash. That's great. Yeah, I was a little worried he was gonna do his uh, charge, uh, charge right there. That would have sucked. Nope. You are now more Rome. Getting all those buffs there. Nice. Oh, yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah, no, Ash is dead. I don't know anything about this crypter stuff, but whatever they are, that one was still my master. Once he ordered me to leave Arjuna alone, I was able to hold back my urge to kill him. But once my master was no longer my master, once Arjuna slapped that curse on me like he was putting a collar on a stray dog and told me he was my new master, there was no way in hell I was going to take that. I tried to kill him immediately after he cursed me. I tried to kill him in the span of a single breath, in the blink of a goddamn eye. But it did nothing. His incredible divine power stopped me, killed me, and brought me back to life. The curse ate away my, in my own body, and I attacked him again. Over and over, I was stopped, killed, revived, and cursed. Stopped, killed, revived. Cursed! Every damn time he stopped me, I got angrier. Every time he killed me, I saw red. Every time he revived me, my fury grew. Every time he cursed me, I became still further enraged. Was I just buying time? No way. I wasn't nearly calm enough to think about drawing Arjuna's attention long enough to let my old master escape. Well, I guess it ended up working out that way. It was all just desperate fury, all simply in vain. Until my spirit finally broke. <clears throat> Torting bowels, rage, every agony in the world, tearing myself apart, decimation of the ego, a single instant. Drool, flickering consciousness. Purple, red, green, black, lost vocal cords, spirit origin and violation, existing then not, and existing again, poisonous thoughts, defeat, pain, chills, hives, agony, fire, all on top of one another. A terrible curse. 
How can I make this damn curse go away? What do I have to do to be free of it? Helping that damn god get the world he wants is the only way for me to escape this damn curse. This law for more merc this, this law far more merciful than death is the only way to go. I will be rage. The moment I stop being angry is the moment I stop being me. So I decided I was going to stay angry all the damn time. Once I knew I couldn't kill that god beyond gods like this, no matter how angry I got, I instead chose to burn my own damn weakness with the fires of my rage until the very end. It was humiliating to me, along with idiotic, immature, and inferior. But even so, thanks to that, I knew I'd be able to stay my angry until my very last breath. I might have lost the bond with my true master, and been forced to submit to my most hated enemy. But at least this time, I still had my pride. This way, I would at least be able to remain myself right up until this defective, evil world disappeared. Then, I'll be able to hit that smug, all-knowing, pompous, all-powerful god with one last shot. I'll show him that even with his perfect little plan to recreate as he sees fit, and then only what he deems essential, he still couldn't stop me from being me. That way, right when everything's about to end, I'll get to laugh at his stupid face. You really are an odd bird, aren't you? You actually chose to keep losing to Arjuna and his curse just so you could continue to be yourself. Exactly, and thanks to that, he's done for, since there's no possible way to save him. Yeah, I'm sure there isn't. <clears throat> this goddamn pisses me off! So, what are you gonna do now, huh? You gonna tear me to shreds with that sword of evil's bane? Sounds great! Do it! Come on! Do it! Hit me! I want you to tear through me right then and there! Now! Even if I did tear you to shreds, your body would simply regenerate. I suspect it's your connection to our Judas nine but not supply magical energy that forces it to do so. Then, once your body is cursed again, it is subjected to endless torment for all of eternity. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I know of some... No way to do something about that curse. What? Rama, my god, a boy. Good job, buddy. <laughs> We're supposed to gaze at me in on an admiration, there, master. Listen, what Rama, the Rama. I've seen you being carried by an American nurse. There's no way that's happening. I was at my lowest, okay? Too bad. It's no, not gonna- that's not gonna go away. Don't pat me on the head. I am a king. I deserve far more- Good job. Good job, Banana King. Who's a good Banana King? You are. No more bananas after this, Master. <laughs> you and your damn nonsense are pissing me off. What the hell could you even do about this curse? Wait, what- Oh, this. Wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh dear. This is quite something, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you just do? Don't tell me you... HUH?! <laughs> Krishna and I are both avatars of Vishnu. Basically beings of the same nature. So if your curse comes from Krishna's power, you should be more than capable of affecting it. Well, I can't completely destroy it, of course. So you can at least transfer it from your body to mine. <laughs> I am an invincible king. I'm not about to complain about the pain from a little curse like this. You thought you just heard otherwise, and I suggest you have your ears checked. I'd like imagine, like, 
like during this whole sequence, you just he you just hear like, why do I hear like a like someone rushing towards me? Patient! Just nine kill, just like not again, dog not again, piles not again, not again, not again. <laughs> Round two. Mm. You're out of your mind. Uh, I can't stand that sort of sim. Uh, uh... What? <laughs> I can't stand that sort of simpering self-sacrifice nonsense. If you subject, subject me to any one of this, I'm going to start demanding compensation. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the hell? Are you stupid or something? D damn it, this pisses me off. I'm still just angry. I'm still just as angry as ever. If I don't have to worry about being held hostage to my damn curse anymore, there's something holding me back. Arjuna was always my mortal enemy, even before he made himself some kind of god. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm gonna revolt. I'm not gonna revolt against him. <gasps> well, what's the damn point of me being free of my curse if you just end up cursed in my place? All you're doing is gaining one guy and losing another. It's simple math, damn it! Oh, you freaking piss me off! Don't be ridiculous. Of course, I. But as an avatar of Vishnu, Krishna's curse shouldn't affect me as much as it affected you. Let's say it brings me down to half my normal strength. But in exchange for that strength, we Hushvatama, the hero of the Karavas. Man who is not only exceptionally skilled warrior, but a tactician clever enough to serve as commander in chief. As to say, you are a servant who can fulfill more than just one role. So while we may have lost half a warrior, we effectively gained two to make up for it. That's a net gain of one and a half warriors. Uh what is this guy's deal? Like, real talk. Oh, great, he's mad at us. <sighs> you. This guy's your servant, right? Does that mean I should be angry at you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> Hi, I think that was a new sorry record for you. Uh, at any rate, can I please ask you something just to be sure, Ash Dutman? Now that you're not cursing or you no longer have a reason to obey Arjuna. So, does that mean you're willing to help us now? Why'd you go and ask that for? You wouldn't remind me of how completely pathetic I've been! God. I'm glad I'm glad Parvati's not here, otherwise I'd be utterly right. Ugh. I don't even want to think about that. Hmm, I never expected Rama to take on the curse himself, but the benefits of his, of his trade-off may well outweigh the drawbacks. Having Arjuna's la last Okapala come over to our side will be quite the boon indeed. <laughs> What's that look supposed to mean, X-Master? If you want to laugh at me, go right ahead. It'll give me another reason to be angry. Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering how you really are just how you appear through my Tanshin. Tanshin to Tanshin. You wear your heart on your sleeve, so to speak. So that thing rooted deep inside you is anger. It's what drew you. That's what drove you to the Pandavas in the middle of the night. Hey, I uh, just have to ask, haven't you ever wished you could just let all your anger, like, go? Um, uh, why? Is this the whole reason I ended up like this? Yeah, yeah, I know my anger is what ended up getting me cursed by cr I <clears throat> Krishna when I was alive. But, say, I don't know if you eventually be able to let go of it. You are just stay with Arjuna, right? I doubt you want any defective emotions in this perfect little world, after all. Aha, uh -huh, now I get it. You think I regret giving up that chance to get rid of this anger, don't you? <laughs> don't be an idiot. Why the hell would I ever regret that? It's true, Da Vinci. You've got it backwards. Anger is everything to him right now. In fact, I think he made sure his anger would be the one part of him to stick around by constantly proving that he was useful with it. I really mastered and served for a short time, and they're absolutely nothing alike. And in spite of that, Pepe and Ashnatman really seem to click. Maybe this is what they call chemistry? I mean, we were talking about math earlier, so you know. 
That's just need a bit of an English lesson. We're good to go. Yeah, right now anger and me are one and the same. It was the only way I had to avenge I had to avenge my father and friends is humiliation. If we were back in <clears throat> Kurukshitra when that war was still going on, and we and they've been humiliated again, I'd do the same damn thing without hesitating every time. I'd love to use my anger as a weapon to avenge my father and friend, even if it ended up cursed every damn time. Got it. I knew you were awkward and simple-minded, but I also know that's why I can trust you. Okay. Then why don't we find somewhere we can relax and figure out where our next course of action. You're a tactician too, right? Can wait to see what you come up with. <laughs> Alright, let's... <clears throat> you look like an old man just threw out his back. <laughs> I'm fine, you hear me? My body just a, hasn't quite adjusted to this curse yet. <sighs> just give me a moment, I'll be up at about no time. You know we don't have time to wait around. Guess I'll just have to give you a piggy back ride. <sighs> Not again. This is so <laughs> degrading. Don't make me get Nightingale over here, I'll do it. Please don't. Exactly. <laughs> It is indeed your destiny, Rama, to suffer piggyback rides. This is just part of my destiny to suffer piggyback rides down then. Every time. Like he's actually crying, though. <laughs> Rama, <laughs> no! Well, it's more—it's also a piggyback ride more of an elephant back ride, considering who you're riding. I swear, if you sing Prince Ali, I am going to boot you off, Rama. Prince Ali, I'm gonna see Ali Ababa. <laughs> She's joining along anyway. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I saw the film so long. She's. Wait, wait, then who's Prince Ali? If Rama's Prince Ali, wait, who's Genie in this case? Pepe. <laughs> yes! You know what? You know, I'm, I'm for that. I like that idea. <laughs> Pepe just being, just pulling all the Genie lines. Specifically uh, Robin Williams' Genie, though. Oh, yeah, no, not even a question. Anyway. Oh, we're, thank you, Windows. Oh, wait. Wait, what's going on? Windows, what did you do to the clock? Windows, what did you do with the clock? <laughs> oh, that's not good. That ain't good. Hey, when did we start playing P3 again? Oh no, not again. It's about to become the dark hour. <laughs> no. I mean, we're 13 minutes from that anyway. Hmm. Well, you are. Man, mm. I, me and White still have an hour to go. Oh, great, the detective is sulking. What's wrong, Holmes? Someone took my void dust when I wasn't looking, and I'm rather I'm looking, trying to find out who it was. <laughs> <sighs> it's nothing. For the moment, it seems as though there was something off about the surrounding area. Hopefully it was nothing more than a momentary, uh, sensor malfunction. Uh, so you thought to use people's faith to tear Arjuna down from his divine throne, huh? Unfortunately, it didn't work. I never thought even the false god would be so heartless as to cast away every person who lost their faith in them. I should have known better than to help for even so much as that. Honestly, we're kind of stumped right now. I don't suppose you have any good ideas. Uh, give me a second. Hmm. You're on the right track. Taking away Arjuna's god status is almost certainly the only way we'll be able to beat him. But... I know, damn it! Obviously we can't count on the people of this world to help with that anymore. So, then our only choice is to use something else. Assuming we even can, anyway. I mean, is there something we can use? Ah, damn it! 
I really didn't want to bring this up since it's a big whole all or nothing deal, and that pisses me the hell off, but we don't have a lot of options right now, do we? If we mess up, we'll all be all dead and gone. Even if it works, it still only gives us a tiny chance of coming out on top. You still want to hear it? Like you said, we don't have any other choice. All right, your funerals. Right, please tell us, Watchman. Whoever it is, we're ready to hear it. <clears throat> the biggest factor in Arjuna's remaining a god and in control of this world is that he's the one advancing the Yuga, the Yuga cycle. The obvious idea that anyone capable of destroying and recreating the world would have been to be a, a god only reinforces his position as one. So as long as he keeps the Yuga cycle going, he's pretty much a perfect god. Mm, makes sense, man. You have to be one hell of a god to make, re make the whole damn world. Oh, crap, that's what I think it's the problem, isn't it? Damn it! But if we look at it another way, that advantage is also a weakness. If we can defy that world that world remaking even just a tiny bit, then he won't be a perfect god any longer. Hmm, I see. Since remaking the world is such a massive undertaking, even the tiniest flaw would have a big impact. Like how a single scratch in a large precious gem makes its value plummet. How will we actually do that? That's the problem. We can't take the safe or easy way out with something like this. We'd have to face Arjuna's world-destroying noble phantasm head on, refuse to, to disappear, and continue our existence as continuous entities. Once we're done, we've done that, we'll have proven his, his <clears throat> failability and really messed up the idea of him as some perfect god. Are you serious? You want us to face that terrifying noble phantasm head on? I thought you were an actual tactician, not an armchair general, you fool. It doesn't matter how plausible something seems if it can act if it can't actually be done. Shut up, damn it! You think I don't know that? That's why I'm saying if we can pull it off. So that's the plan. An almost suicidal battle of endurance where one wrong move means you're gone for good. How about it? Anyone here think they can pull that off? Alright. Who could possibly pull off a battle of endurance like that, I wonder? Hmm. Hang on, let's let we'll kinda of, I'll just read it around until we figure out who it is. I think back on this world. I think I know who it is. Oof. This might be you, Mush, I think. Hang on. Did I'm pretty sure this... I, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. I, I I might not have had the lift hold open. And I keep pulling up the wrong one. I'm pretty sure it's you. Uh here, anything it's good. Anything it's god deems useless, defective, or unnecessary. It's Lakshmi, okay. Oh, it's Lakshmi? Apparently. It's a race as though it never existed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still here. How weird is that? Oh, yeah, it is. It is I, I knew, I thought it was Jinako. Oh, well, then I could just continue talking normally and all, uh, all there is to it. Oh, there it is. Yep, I see where we are. Me? A hopeless, unemployed shut-in who's only good at video games. Damn, why do you gotta call me out like that? A divine spirit serving the name, name only who just happened to end up with godly powers with some freakish twist of fate. There's no way or Juno wouldn't hesitate to write someone like me off as worthless. I should have been the first to go. I'm just a spectator. An uninvited guest who's only here by coincidence. At least, that's what I thought. But, you know, even I can't deny that someone knew I, what I was and they said they needed my help anyway. I can't let the hero place his trust in me down, so... I'll do it. Or at least I'll try. <laughs> this might think be watch back, me. Think back on this one. Yep. Watch me, pretty sure. 
Alright. Oh. Here, anything its god deems useless, defective, or unnecessary. Because the race has never existed. And what could be more useless or necessary than a goddess of bad luck and misfortune? That said, I'm sure this one wish of mine can still be granted. No matter how despicable the role given to me may be, or how defectively unlucky I may have been born, there shouldn't be anything wrong with praying for my family's happiness. No matter what anyone else says about you, I'll always be your friend, kind of Lakshmi. Look, it hasn't always been on my side either, like when I failed to defend my country. But that's exactly why I want you to trust me. This time, I won't let anything happen to the ones I care about. I'm going to make sure your wish to free Lakshmi from that awful Fosca or false god comes true. That wish may not be anything so much as a country. It's easily swallowed up into your hand. Which is why I'll make sure to hold on to it tightly. I won't let it slip out of my hand for nothing. Not for the world and not for its god. I'll do it too. I'm sure I can. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you guys. guys! What? Even Karnu couldn't withstand that noble phantasm for long. Don't you think it's too risky? Uh, not gonna lie, if we were gaming, this would be like hardcore mode on the nightmare difficulty setting. You know, like someone I know who decided to play a uh, Metal Gear game like that. Not pretty, but it's our only shot. Hey, Mush, do you want to go fight Margaret real quick? Listen, I'm still working my way. That's what I to thought, this. anyway. I'm not even to that point in the story yet. Besides, I think I got a decent shot at winning. I mean, we're talking pure endurance, not reflexes, right? I've got endurance. I do a bit of min maxing. I think I can optimize my build just enough to survive. Not to mention that I have Ganesha seen that noble phantasm a couple times now. Basically, all I gotta do is to still keep camping until it's over, right? I can do that sort of thing in my sleep. I know, because I have done it multiple times before, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Just you wait. I'm gonna come up with a foolproof strategy for the game starts to show you all what a meat is truly capable of. That's the difference between me and Karna. Between me and the true hero who faces adversity head on. Of course, speaking as someone who never asked to be entrusted with his responsibility, I figured I'd at least try to live up to it, or I'll never be able to look him in the eye, you know? As for me, I think my purpose lies in protecting others. Life thus far had used my noble phantasm to defeat my enemies. It is meant to be used defensively. It seems like a perfect opportunity to do just that. Of course, I will do my best to down my bad luck and prevent any unfortunate accidents. But if you cannot help but worry, I will understand. I'm sure you would rather remove any unnecessary uncertain elements when carrying out your- Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty much counting on your help out there. Honestly, I was a bit nervous about doing this on my own. But if you're there with me, I think I've got a real good shot. Wait, 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 just to make sure you guys do have a plan for making this happen, right? What, you don't believe me? Well, I guess I can't blame you. Basically, I'll be using my secondary noble thing. As I said before, I'm thinking of applying a luxury's power to my true noble phantasm. When I don't just throw noble phantasms at your problems till they're all gone. I see. There are definitive risks with that plan, but there is at least a chance it may succeed. <laughs> Alright, what are you mad about this time? I'll say. How the hell did you actually come up with a plan to pull this off? I've got to explain the rest, damn it. Is there something else you need? No, for- Were you really planning on withstanding Arjuna's world remaking, remaking Cataclysm like that, like that? It was just a bad storm? Because if you can't, if Arjuna doesn't realize something's not- Because you can't. If Arjuna doesn't realize something's not right at first, the jester next to him will. Yes, I'm quite sure he will. That's why he's there, after all. Then, what can we do? If you're gonna evade Arjuna's eye when he looks over the entire world, he'll need to think you belong here. 
He's got to take you for granted so much that he'd never even think of to question your presence. In other words... Alright. Here's the last part of the plan. I'm gonna send you both back in time! Wait, what? Who's ready for time travel? Ooh, buddy. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. Or the Hall of Infidels. Oh. Is something uh, wrong? I think it's infidels. It is a trivial matter, but Ashvatman has escaped his curse. Nani? Hmm, that is more than a little troubling. I expect it won't be long before he rebels against you. Say, I have an idea. Why not try using your master authority to just make him destroy himself? That'd be fun. I want to have some fire angry fireworks out here today. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that would be trivial, but the Kali Yuga is near, as is the end of the Great Kali Yuga. I see. You would prefer not to waste your energy on a single servant then? Yes, yes, you do have a point, especially given the current situation. The world is nearing its limit. The reconstruction it underwent during the last Kali Yuga has brought it to its breaking point. And that means... The world will, and I mean, reach perfection in the very next cycle. <laughs> I'm sure you will need every bit of power you have to bring that about. So it makes perfect sense that you wouldn't want to waste any on him. However, I must remind you that Ashvataman is like a demigod and holds the power of Shiva and Yama within. While he may be no match for you and your absolute divine power, he could still cause trouble for you if you do nothing to stop him... Pardon me. ...from joining up with the Ob Observatory survivors. Surely you don't wish for anything to go wrong during a moment of great Kali Yuga. Do you? Very well. I will send sacred beasts after him. Send every last one that breathes in this land. An excellent idea. I believe that will certainly be for the best. <laughs> Alright, you ready yet? If not, hurry it up already. We don't have all day here. I know we're time traveling and everything, but we don't have uh, we don't have time to waste here. Oh, I really wish he'd stop getting angry every time he talked to me. It's a little tough for negative types like me to deal with. The hell you just say? Uh, sorry about that, that's just how I am! That doesn't make me feel any better at all. Well, too bad! Deal with it! Mm -hmm. All that's left for us now is to start concentrating. Uh, although... Are you sure you want to do this? I was wondering the same thing. I thought you would want to go somewhere a little more, uh, magecraft friendly? It doesn't matter where we do this. Not when those two are about to travel through time. I still can't quite believe this is happening. Though I suppose it isn't all that dissimilar from ray shifting. I'm afraid I must disagree. Ray shifting is pure engineering built on Spiritron theory. What we are attempting to do here is a once in a lifetime feat that relies on a series of coincidences. Simply put, a miracle. A miracle only made possible by the an <clears throat> anomalous nature of this lost belt, rather than the regular Earth. And the fact that its inner time and space have grown unstable thanks to Arjuna repeatedly destroying it. Even then, it still requires us to make full use of the power of Shiva, the ruler of time. One might say it is the exploit to end all exploits, and needless to say, we can only employ it once. Which, of course, is why I would like to ensure you are all as thoroughly prepared as possible. If Arjuna ever realized you two aren't completely of this world, it's over. So you gotta become part of it. 
something no one would ever think to question, like the sun or the sky. And while you're doing that, you'll have to endure his world-ending cataclysm right up to the present day, when your efforts to prove his failability will finally have meaning. That's the only kind of po a poison that'll weaken him enough for us to defeat him. Much as it pisses me off to say this, it's basically a way to curse him. Okay, so I gotta ask, how long do we have to do this? For a very long time. From the point where Arjuna first started ruling the world like this, all the way to now. I won't know how long uh... that'll be until we do it. I'm guessing it'll be, uh, let's see, hmm. Yeah, thousands of years, if not longer. Uh, right, and I thought Genshin's slower times were long. Uh, what? Are you really sure about this? I don't think this is something as something similar, similar as a loading screen. Are you really positively sure about this? Uh, what is this, the millionth time you ask? I keep telling you I'm fine. I've dealt with longer load times. This isn't like a load sure time, I'm pretty sure. No, but it sure felt like it sometimes. I can understand how they feel. I still have my doubts as well. After all, the role you agreed to take on comes with a far greater mental burden than mine. My task will simply be to provide you with spell. The, and you're the one who will be using it to maintain the spell and your noble phantasm. You'll have to stay awake the entire time without letting your mind rest or retreating into an inorganic state. You're going to have to maintain uninterrupted consciousness for thousands of years. So long as so long a time could drive even a god to madness, are you absolutely certain you can handle this? Do you even know who you're talking to? I am a professional shun. I am the queen. No, no, sorry, that belongs to someone else. I am the empress of neats. Plus, you throw in my mysterious <laughs> my powers. I summon some video games and other goodies. Let's be a game. walk like it's vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I suddenly feel like I just got called out? Or somebody's taking my role? Hell, this is the perfect type to 100% of the 1,000 hour games I've had my eye on for a while. Like Persona 5 Royal. I... I know Ganesha is treating this lightly, but she must be more worried than she's letting on. I'm sure she's trying to breed brave so as not to worry us. We are asking a lot of her. Hey, don't you know better than to whisper about someone right in front of them? Needs are really sensitive, you know. I'm telling you, I'll be fine. Really. Besides, Ashvata men told us all that some se top secret info, so there shouldn't be any problem keeping our prom. That was only if you two could make it back here safely, and if everything goes well. Damn it! Just focus on what you're about to freaking do. Ugh! God. Oh, did I just ask you not to get so angry at me? And did I not tell you earlier to deal with it? Actually, I think I know why it's especially hard for me to get near you. You reek of Ganesha's old man, Shiva. When you start calling me dad, I will punt you. When I see the uncle, you always scared me. Why don't you learn to at least use your inside voice? This won't be an easy job for you either. It'll be like swimming against the current. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I'm used to enduring strenuous conditions. Truly, that's the only way we gorillas know how to fight. I know. That's why you... Why I... Look, just hurry up and let me know when you're ready. I'm not gonna rush you, but the sooner we do this, the better. Arjuna's still my master right now. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he knew I wasn't cursed anymore. And the only thing I'm really concerned about is him trying to... I'm afraid your concern was well-founded. There are sacred beasts headed your way from all directions. Oh, freaking course! Holy hell, there's so many of them. Is, is this all of them? I've never seen this many before. Now what? Should we try again later, or...? Oh, um, we can't be certain that situation won't worsen further. We should take care of what we need to do before the sacred beasts reach us. 
Do you really think we have enough time? They're headed here really fast. I'm sure we have enough time. I have nothing left to hide, so I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm going to pour all of my magical energy into my noble phantasm. Now that I've made full use of the luxury's power, there should be another unavoidable reaction besides bad luck. I'm going to bring that reaction about intentionally. At this point, I should be able to control it somewhat. Alright. Now there's a group of Kali headed your way, too! There it is. I've summoned them. You did what? <laughs> the face, like, you uh -huh. say one? It's like, you say what now? <laughs> ah. Now I get it. I know I was forgetting something important. A Lakshmi is said to be the Kali, De Kali the Demon's second wife. I don't know about that. Nor can I ask her, but I do sense a connection between the Kali and the goddess inside. Remember when that giant Kali formed in Bishu? I think that was the consequence to using my god's powers in the fight against William Tell. That's why the Kali were so frenzied back then. I formed a connection to them whenever I make full use of Electrony's power. Though I admit I didn't realize this myself until after I saw that giant Kali. If I only realized it sooner, we may have been able to lessen the damage they did to Bishu. Does that mean you can control them or give them instructions? I think the best I could do is point them in a, in a different direction. But I will try and command them to hold back the sacred beasts as best I can. Come, Ganesha, Ashvatman, we have work to do! Yeah, let's hope for a little more time, you know, mentally prepare, but I guess it's not happening. Oh man, I really want to us in a more relaxing environment, like in my room. <sighs> we'll have to play the hand we're dealt! Listen up! This is a big job even for me. It's gonna take time to focus, and as much as it pisses me off, I won't be able to move while I'm doing it. Don't worry. If you under sacred beast is nothing for me, I might- uh, 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 yeah, no, you're not doing this. <laughs> not to worry. Cursing, this is just makes it a fair fight. Or, so I was hoping. But I'm afraid things might be a bit more dire than I thought. Ganesha and Lakshmi are preparing for their endurance spell. Ashvatman is getting ready to send them back in time. The only ones here get by are me, so with this curse and mash. At first, you know, I don't suppose... You should really go without saying, but I'm just a human mage. Don't expect any more from me than that. Your next systems are all green. I won't have any issues using it. That said, we are very, very, very outnumbered. It'll be difficult to defeat and against them alone and drive them away. Master, look out! Oh, for fine. She stops the sick of beasts attacking us from above. Don't. Wait. Never. Wait. Ne don't. 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 Don't did you even. Just, do, don't. Did you, did you don't. Just don't, help don't you. Us? Don't you. Never, ever mention this to any of my colleagues, ever. I'm only repaying my debt. Don't mistake this for anything other than that. I will never help humans. I will never accept them, or love them, or forgive them. The only thing I will do is repay them any debt I may owe. That is the only reason I'm doing this. Though, of course, I trust it goes without saying that I can't possibly take care of all these beasts myself. We know that. Well, hell, any house doesn't manage to get past Lakshmi's Kali and evade your shots. We still need to wipe the bowl out. We just have to buy enough time for. <clears throat> so it, Rami. You can't push yourself too hard. Okay, Chobo, this is it. Let's try to buy them as much time as we can. All right. Login. And login. Unsurprising. Hi, Hazel. Hello, Hazel. Why, hello, Hazel. And J I just checked earlier, JP is in fact in maintenance. Oh, boy. Oh, what place is this? Oh, I have enough for a single. All right, let's go ahead and skip past this. because we, we just did that. What the hell? Might as well. Oh, 
Also, I'm gonna do this as well because I want to show off his other versions too. Because I kind of like the uh, regular variations. Uh, hardest lost belts. Um, from what I've been hearing, a lot of people are really are really having a hard time with lost belt five part two. From what I've heard as well, six is gonna be fun as well. Six is gonna be a whole. It's gonna be a massive can of worms right there. Wait, where the heck is? It? Oh, there you are. Yeah, this should be fine. I just want to let Rome have some have time have some time since we just got him. Just throw Rome at everything. Everything will become Rome. <laughs> Six only really gets difficult uh, at the very end, from from what I remember. Endurance battle. Roma versus the world. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and just do this to start off, just so we can kind of keep ourselves protected for a moment. I just want to build some gauge while I have the chance. <laughs> They have all his dust, it's all his roam. <laughs> See, I believe every other turn, uh, Coin Sky will attack the enemies in front of us. So, which is really, which is pretty cool. I will turn everything into roam. Stagger this a little bit. I get to see him as, as base center with this. I like I just like the robes of the base one as well. Also, I want you to pay attention to his extra attack for uh for this version because it's actually it's actually pretty funny. You know how we call the his extra attack in his third ascension the raging demon? Or how somebody mentioned it was the raging demon, more or less. Watch what his extra attack here is for this form. Wait a minute, did he just dead-ass Kamehameha wave? More or less. <laughs> I mean, the motion at the end was a little different, but it's more or less the same. Kami! Kami! Ruma! <laughs> It was a final come. Oh yeah, it was! Roma style. How do you take my stars? You'll pay for this with your blood. How do you take what is rightfully Roma's? A bit of Vegeta in there, Roma pride. <laughs> Although Rome is nowhere near as arrogant as that Saiyan prince. I love how he just has a beam sword for that arts attack. Pretty sure that uh that one in the back's gonna die, so I'm just gonna run this. Or I thought it was one of you, whatever. Yeah, that one's dead. His hands are a spear. These hands will carry. <laughs> God, Juno's gonna be catching these hands when we get to him later. That's for sure. No, I think it's it's it was an endurance fight at the start, so we just have to survive a couple turns. We can't. We don't have to kill all of them. I don't know if you can even kill all the enemies in this fight. 
for the amount of turns that they give you for like the amount of turns you have. I, I doubt it. You will be a Rome. Alright, time to just nuke everything with Rome! Just to me, the Rome is the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, Rom Romulus was the predecessor, was the progenitor of Rome, more or less, so he has that. He, he, of course, he would have this kind of power. Uh, well, as far as, as far as Rome is concerned, anyway. Oh, we've seen what happens whenever Nero has that kind of power. It's called B6. <laughs> How heretical would be for me to use Little Caesar's as a catalyst for Rome? I don't think it would be heretical. All pizza is Rome. Therefore, go for it. <laughs> In a long, in a hot minute, I, I should really get some soon. I guess there's only so much we can do, even if it's just to buy time. We're all doing our best, but there's just not enough of us. Unfortunately, there's nobody else who can help us now. There's nothing more we can do on our own. Hmm. Well, that's not entirely true. Obviously, we can't increase our numbers or anything, but we might still be able to pull this off if we change how we go about it a little. You mean we just need to tr we just need to hit them? I got an idea. We just need to hit. We just need to hit them really, really hard. That sounds like something my dad would say. Great. Um, if you're talking about psyching yourselves up and giving one hundred twenty percent, that's not going to help. No, I don't mean that. See, there's someone here who's still not- who's still trying to play it cool, even in this situation. A real dummy who has yet to put all their cards on the table. Everyone, group up and hit it till it dies! Ow, fuck! I'm the dummy. It's me. <laughs> the way he says- the way he what? like- why does that specific line from Pepperoncino give me moxie vibes? <laughs> it, do it really does. Why is oh that? god. It, it, is Pepperoncino just moxie in disguise? You know, I wouldn't put I'm it past him. I'm gonna go him. with yes. I wouldn't put it past oh, him. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't planning to do this in front of you and Mashi, Chovo. Maybe that's because I'm still technically a prisoner. I thought it'd be better if I didn't do anything that, that'd that make you more suspicious of me. But now that I think about it, I don't really mind if you know. And if it'll mean we make it out of here alive, I don't see any reason to hesitate. <laughs> Moxie. Um... Why are you talking about... Healing. Jin Jinsokutsu. Yeah. And Tashin uh, Tashinsu. Step in with Jin Jinso Jinsokutsu and use Tashinsu to read how it's going to act and These things might not be ordinary creatures, but it's not like they keep their brains in their stomachs or have organs made of diamond, right? 
As long as our bodies follow mostly the same rules as ours, I can apply the knowledge I already have and probably manage somehow. From there, all I have to do is destroy their vital organs and they'll die just like any other creature. It's not to say I like doing this sort of thing. It is just awful on my cuticles, and it's not even any fun. That said, I can't say I really hate doing it. I guess that's not great either, huh? I suppose I can't judge Beryl after all. Not when I'm doing the same thing as him. Oh, it hurts to see you look so upset, Mashy. Mm -hmm. Oh well, no going back now. Especially not when we're still severely outnumbered. Come on, guys, let's keep it up. We don't have time to be slacking off. I like to imagine that he's going. He's just. Having, he just has like a, like this, like a wacky stance on him right now. Back to Ro back to turning everything into Rome. Still new servants? Ah. What are you trying to go for, uh, Raiden? Are you trying to go for Rome as well? Or are you going for, uh, the other banners like Dian Scurry or... Is support Rama actually handicapped? I think he he might be. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. They do tend to do that sometimes with the supports, especially going forward. <laughs> yeah, they start doing that a lot more with Lost Ball 5 as well. Become Roma! Stupid snake! This thing is not very Roma. Slap this snake as far as I can so it won't go so it can get on my face faster. Goodbye. What was that voice line? Phew! Alright, it's gonna probably go in sky attack. Yep, there we go. Unfortunate. Oh well. We just gotta keep surviving. Actually, yeah, no, I'll do it this way. May as well. Bit of overkill, whatever. You are the chosen one to become a new Roma.
as uh, uh, faster. No, I just wanna right now. I'm just I'm just using Rome because I, I we just got him and I wanted to mess with that around with him a little bit. I just want to do it for fun. And I couldn't really think of a a, a team at the moment. Tom Edison, like Africa, ah, Devil Merlin. I, I, I'm more of a fan of Double Scotty, but that's just me. Probably because I have a lot of quick surface. So I was trying to get the final leg for that Naga. It's also just make just also just make it so he can be a bit more so he can just be general's purpose for this fight. My brain's not really thinking today. Just go burr. <laughs> Red cards go burr. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I am really happy that I managed to get Rome, though. I, I really wanted him. The only downside to double Scotty is the fact that most people really don't have Scotty. They have more. I see more Merlins and Waivers. Hmm. Yeah. Those guys. I need to plug Soup Evie. See, I don't plug. I I just have Double Scotty, Lancelot, and then just my backline for all people I need to bond up. There's a single waste in motion. His combat style. Okay. He's obviously very proficient in it. I've seen other styles like it before. His movements and methodology are straight out of Assassin Emmy and sent me his altar plate. Oh, goodness. You've been holding out on us, Pepper Gino. Well, of course I was. Beautiful people like myself don't reveal all on the first day. Beauty? I... I only see one beauty in the world and she's not here. But anyway, I'm glad to see you can. But of course, true beauty is freedom after all. There's nothing those of us with beauty, beautiful bodies can't do. If I told you you had a beautiful body too, Rami, would you hold it against me? I don't know what you mean by that. Whatever is, I'm quite certain now is not the time for it. Plus, I'm married. Oh, you're no fun. But I guess you're right. We still do have more sacred beasts to deal with. Hang in there, people. Ashvanman and the others should be done soon. For now, the dance continues. Dame <laughs> dun Dame Dane Dame 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 Yeah, I wasn't around for when Scotty wasn't a thing, so yeah, I think you, you, I think you joined around the time Scotty had just gotten released around that point anyway. Well, all I know is I somehow ended up with an MP3 of her after all this time, so. Uh, are we still not done here? This is getting really old. There's no end to them. It's as though every sacred beast in this world is coming after us. All right, Moxie. Have fun with work. Have fun with work. I don't any status reports from the border for a while now. I can't tell if we're making progress or going in circles. Really where it doesn't matter. We just gotta keep doing what we can as best we can. Burn. Burn. I've gotta burn myself. My anger for fuel. I'll never get Arjuna to drop his guard again. This is our only chance. This world space time is coming apart at the seams thanks to Arjuna breaking and remaking it over and over. But if that's instability, then let's break the rules and send someone back in time. Even if we only get one shot. First, I gotta awaken <clears throat> Makala, the manifestation of Shiva inside me that can control time itself. Next, I'm gonna need a, me a metric ton of magical energy. And fortunately, I know just where to get it. 
since that bastard Arjuna is still my master, I'm not going to be shy about grabbing some of that endless magical energy for myself. That's part of controlling servants, master. If they need some magical energy, it's your job to fork it over! <laughs> Of course I'll figure out what I'm up to soon enough. That's why we only get one shot at this. Gotta make sure everything's in place before we can, he can mess it up. What's taking you guys so long? Hurry up already, damn it! I am a guardian. I protect countries, people, hopes, dreams. That is why I am here. That is why I exist. As a queen, I may have failed to protect my country, and I may have lacked the skill needed to help my people's rebellion succeed. But I think that's why I was called here, as though I were some sort of hero. I think this world has given me another chance to give it right. It's challenging me to protect the things I couldn't protect before. Very well. Challenge accepted. I am Lakshmi Bai, the Rani of Jiansi. 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 To those kind failures, lend me your strength. Now, Lakshmi, the goddess of misfortune, and I promise you this. We will not let one more thing be cruelly and unjustly taken from us. This time, we will protect everything. Oh, okay. Nahi! Dungi! Are you seeing this, Karna? No, I'm not. In the end, this is what it all comes down to. I'm gonna be true to myself, obstinate pessimism and all. Since there are many things I'm good at, I want to at least be decent at the things I'm used to. Once, in a very different time and place, you believed in me completely, even though you knew I wasn't special. So now, even though I'm scared, I've gotta act like what I'm about to do is, you know, no big deal, just like I usually do. Besides, I'm not running away from everything. So I'm just waiting for someone to come and get me. Hey, Ganesha, I'm sorry I drew the short straw getting me a vessel, a Mia's vessel, but you knew what you were in for, right? Right? I sure hope so, seeing as you picked the world's biggest neat and all. Ganesha, the god of prosperity, the god of knowledge, and the god of obstacles, especially removing them. What are obstacles? Obstructions? Things that try to hold us back or stop us from getting what we want to, where we ever we need to go. I've always been keenly aware of obstacles. I feel like I've been surrounded them my whole life. So for me, treating the outside, entire outside world like one giant obstacle, easy as pie. Alright, it's time to gather up that power and solidify it to protect me and my own little world. It's time to make a nice comfy neat cave to last me a good long while. Completely penetral domain that not even a god could hope to pry open. Ganesha Vigneshvara. I can sense their noble phantasms. Ashvataman! Alright. Guess better hang in there. I'm gonna be mad as shit if you give up before we're, you're done. But hey, don't worry. Sure you'll be long, uh, gone a long time, but we'll see you again real soon. <clears throat> Sorry. My bad. <clears throat> Mahakala Shakti! Goodbye! Ooh -ooh. Ooh. Are you sure it worked, Ha! <laughs> what are you trying to- what are you trying to piss me off? Look up, dummy, and see for yourself. They did it. All we gotta do now is pick our heroes up and congratulate them on a long-ass job well done. Cut! <coughs> Are you right, Ash Ashwatsman? I thought I still had your curse. It's not the curse, damn it! It's because I used too much power to mess with time! I don't worry about that now! Hi, I finally understand now. And you're just where we need to go to pick them up. There's just one more problem. Now that Lakshmi's not here, the Kali aren't helping us anymore. Oh, this is way more trouble than I expected. All right, fine. I'll just consider everything about around us an enemy then. 
Uh, we'll decide to make through uh, our way through them as best we can. <laughs> right. There's still a huge number of hostiles, but I know we can get past them. The Ornex is accumulates some strain, but still has reached its limit. There should be no issue using it in combat. Moving forward, please make sure to stand right behind me, Master. All right. Let's try to be a little... Yeah, Rama's gimped right now. He's a little 60. I don't think he was that earlier. No. I think he was... I think he was pretty, like, high-level, like, not only in his skills as well. So, that's... That's unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. What else could I bring to kind of support Rome? Let's see. Here, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll bring I'll bring a different Merlin, and I'm gonna switch over to something else. Let's bring Bride. Give me the anchor. That should be good for now. Yeah, this be fine. Double. What's better than one Roma? Two Roma. Yeah, they, you know what? There you go. If I had both leveled up, I would try that too, just for fun. But right now, I don't have her leveled up here, so I can't really do that. Oh, Green Queen Sky every time. Didn't need to go that far with that with the MP. Oh well. She's like, kill steel. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for the follow. Thank you for following. We hope you enjoy your stay and what is in this craziness. Oh, okay. There we go. Doing good over here. Right. We're not gonna be seeing tired. her anytime right now. This. Uh, Let me go ahead and just pop a loose. Been quick, doing just what I've been doing all day, which is farming. Yeah. Also in P gauge. Maybe kill all this thing and it out. Not not this time. Nope. Although Pitch might actually uh kill it for us, so that might work out. How many stars we got? Cut him out. Uh frick it. <laughs> Walden's like, I heard farming! Where? <laughs> I've been playing for a good long a good long while, uh every day. Uh this account is like, I wanna say a little over about two years old at this point. We just got we just got this guy we just got Roma recently uh, tonight actually a couple hours ago from the roll so that and it's been going pretty well. I'm gonna see if Quain's guy's just gonna kill that again. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, he's the guy in the banner that's currently up right now. He's a pretty strong lancer. <clears throat> Let's see, what do I... No, I don't want to MP just yet. Wait, 
How many? One more turn, then I can get my buffs. I'll do that. Yeah, this account also has, like, a lot of the major supports. Like, this account's gotten pretty lucky overall. I, I know we joked about it, like, a luckily, like way back when, that the luck of this account wasn't great, but to be fair, it's gotten pretty lucky uh, ever since then. You know, we still had that drought of assassins. Oh, yeah, that is true. That was also that, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, right, can you handle this for me? Thanks. Uh, well, then we got combat, then we didn't have to worry about it. Why does he keep trying the same thing? Because Rome! <laughs> ah. Not enough. Yeah, he's he's uh he's the original Roman Emperor Romulus. You know that three-star lancer that you might have seen at once at one point? The uh the one that uh yeah, it, this is a five-star version of him, more or less. Oh, great, these things. I hate Nagas. So I take it you're new-ish to... If... Oh, you started last night? Ah, well, welcome welcome to hell. Yeah, what what is that? Um, it is a really annoying mini-boss. <laughs> It is a extremely annoying mini boss. Yes, please do. Please keep yourself warm if possible. Uh, I'll just boost, I'll just boost my damage around a little bit more. And I really don't want to deal with that thing's like effects. I'm just gonna stun it for now. Yeah, it, it, it is terrifying, mainly because it has a lot of really annoying effects that it could do. Namely, oh, I don't know, party-wide buff removal? This thing is really infuri is annoying to deal with. Yeah, party-wide. That's why I uh, often try and stun it so I couldn't do anything crazy. It is... It's not a common enemy. It is... It is hell. It's not a common enemy, but... They are extremely it's an, annoying. It's very annoying. Especially if you're trying to, like, plan out a farming shot with those things. They also drop, like, eggs, which are really good resources. They're, they're a really annoying mini-boss type enemy. And they love to and they love to use them in this place. Eggs, it's a it's a golden mat in this in this uh part of the game we're playing in right now, Lost Belt 4. We're really far in the story at the moment for context. The giant wing serpent drop. Yes, it does. <laughs> it lays eggs for some reason. Yeah, we we are pretty far in the story as well, so just a heads up for anyone who is new here that doesn't want to like who's not really picky on spoilers and all that. How far? Um We are in past part one territory like you see this this is where the main game is at we've done all this and we're all the way over here <laughs> we're in the second part of the story more or less very far <laughs> i'm just warning you in advance in case like you're you don't want to run to spoilers <laughs> just just letting you know <laughs> i i just there's just too many. Well, you could use my body like normal. Use me, France? Ah. Yeah. The oh, crap is that? We must have finally figured out something was up. I guess it's no surprise since we were messing with time itself. What's wrong, now, Chadman? Arjuna's on his way here! Based on how fast. <clears throat> Amana is approaching. We don't have much time! Sure we don't, but these things just keep coming, no matter how many we kill. I get going to pick them up. At this rate, we won't even be able to get through all these sacred beasts in Kali. It looks like your plan won't work after all. Your idea of making a perfect god fundamentally flawed from the start was so wonderful it made my ears start on, stand on end. But it seems you were just one, uh, scratch that, two steps short of seeing it through. Hello, Mikey. Hello there. Why, hello. Welcome to the stream. 
We can't break through all these hostels. And after we've come all this way. Damn, is there anything we can do? Anything? Hmm. No, we're not giving up yet. We arrived in time! The border? What? How? We can talk later. Hurry up and get in already. Yeah, that was a car noise. Sorry to worry you. We, wouldn't, we couldn't even spare the resources to tell you we were on our way at the at top speed. Wait. What are you doing in the middle of this lost belt anyway? Isn't it dangerous for us to be here? Oh, believe me, I told them over and over in, un in all of the uncertain terms how bad of an idea this was. You know what, do you, you know what, do you, that, it, it more or less is the, the Batmobile. <laughs> hmm, that gives me an idea. Da Vinci, no. <laughs> but, but... I, I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted. <laughs> I can make it the Da Vinci Mobile. Hmm. Didn't you ever do that, or, or, like, a while back? <laughs> yeah, that was just a prototype. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, gosh, dang it. Nemo, leave that alone. Too bad. Uh, no, this is my ship now. <laughs> Sorry. Nemo, one of your clones got into the wiring again. Which one? Uh, I think it was the baker that time. How did... How... I'm not even going to ask that question. Just move on. Even a little danger damage to the board would make it possible for us to evade the next cataclysm. You say we were risking everything to come here, but... Ah, so many Kali and sacred beasts are up ahead of us. This is the worst S-curve I've, S -curve I've ever had to drive through. I can't believe they're making me drift in a 12-wheeler. We're <laughs> 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 <Where's laughs> driving Yes. What do you know? I actually did it. Surprised? I am too. Or my what were our first servants? Um, mm -hmm. when I first started out, the first one I get that comes to my mind is Ushi. Is Ushi. Uh, I I mine is my, and forever will be Robin Hood. My first four star servant, like if we're talking like in the the like first the. Forced story role. Well, I think we're just talking like first, for, like first, first servants. <laughs> oh, uh, BB. <laughs> summer, summer BB. Uh, because she was my first five star. I was just talking my very first servant I can think of, and for me that that would be uh, Ushi, that would be Ushi. Or uh, Ushi Wakamaru. Yeah. Ushi Wakamaru. Like, the yeah, if we're she's a writer. That, then uh, for me it would have to be Martha. Hmm. Uh, I think. I think mine was. If we're talking on. like five stars, though, Gilgamesh. Uh, Inkadu because Inkadu is my first NP five and five star. Jack the Ripper, I don't count then. <laughs> to be fair, most people don't. Anyway, go on then. All of you, hurry up and strap in. This ride isn't gonna get any smoother. We don't want you getting hurt if you if we run into anything. If you die, Trovo, that's the end of everything. There's no point in keeping the boar out of harm's way if there's no one around to drive it. Pit crew certainly can't compete in a race on their own, after all. I think you finally started talking to yourself, chubby. But who cares? You actually pulled it off. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe we got here in time. I have my doubts about him driving the border mainly, but I guess machines really do require an analog touch. Wait, hang on. Why does it look like he's holding the wheel? This isn't normal, believe me. See, we were thinking about what we could possibly do to get you guys here as get to you guys as fast as possible, and we decided the best be would be to, for lack of better terms, share the load. Many year and I focused on controlling the engine to make sure all the board's powers went into keeping at top speed, and Gorgia job was to focus on the actual driving. I swear, I don't even know when he installed the extension system that lets us split up our jobs like that. I didn't have anything better to do, and I thought it'd be useful. Get this, Chovo. Turns out our director is, director is actually a pretty badass driver. Hm. 
Well, I couldn't let the detective keep the top score on the simulator's highest difficulty course forever. <sighs> I still can't believe you actually beat my score. I, I, I honestly thought it was Moriarty pulling a prank on me earlier, but apparently no, it was actually you. Holmes, I could drive circles around you and you know it. I'd like just to imagine you, just like gives they you had... the I'm about to burrito your ass stare. <laughs> I'd like to imagine in, the, in terms of the scoreboard, Gordolf it is beating Holmes by like one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's two, two points. <laughs> exactly two points. In fact, I finally beat his record just the other day. How do you like them apples? <laughs> just seething rage from. Oh, good. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's so mad. While I do prefer on road, I've driven my fair share of off road as well. They say the Phoenix shines brightest when the wings are at their worst. I was just wondering who I'm going to get. Uh, well, who you, who, do you have any idea who you want to try going for? There is a GSSR ticket coming up, so... That is true! We are getting a guaranteed... Yeah. We are getting a free SSR ticket for uh, coming up this month, so you can actually get a free SSR uh, coming up soon. Uh, move! Move! Get out of the way! I have never seen him concentrate on something this, incre this amazingly since he went to the buffet. Trade right between Sacred Beast and Kali alike! Ha! That's some good anger you got there, big guy! I like how you let it loose in your driving, too! Are you mad, Director? You know what? I am, damn it! Uh, SSR is just another word for five star. More or less. Yeah, it's they're, like They're super, like the best of the best. Yeah, it's like super, super rare, super rare, rare, uncommon, and then comp. Yeah, I think that's usually and the And then, the like, of super it. common. Is there even a super... Ah, whatever. Anyway. I, I, I was making a joke on the one and two stars. No, that that's uncommon and common. Boss got here with Strange... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he is. He's really... He's... Mm, we're, we'll get to that soon enough, guys. Don't you worry. Not just because we had to save you to keep our hopes of fixing this mess alive. To be fair, now... I should stress that the free five star in question is going to be a limited uh, pool uh, of characters. It's not going to be every single five star as an option. It's going to be a, a predetermined roster. But there are some good yeah. five stars in there. Yeah, whenever I get a chance, I'll uh, give you a link to it. Yeah. Already done. <laughs> or Mush can just go ahead and do that. Good work. <laughs> I have my own bones to pick with this world. Huh? But since I can't give this world a good slug, I'm taking out my resistance towards it with the border. Perfectly natural for def defects and failures to be erased in this world. How dare they say that in front of me? Ever since I, Gordoff Music, was born, I never did anything well enough to get so much as a single gold star. Well, now it's time to show off what a disgraced noble is really made of. Whatever you do, don't undo your seatbelts, and try not to talk unless you want to bite your tongue. Yes, Mordred is in this. Uh, all the, Most of the Knights of the Round are in this game, except for like a yeah. few. A few aren't in, but a lot of them are. Lancelot, Gawain, uh, Percival got in, in, J in uh, the Japanese version of the game recently. Um, Gareth, um, Tristan, Tristan, among others. Ooh, it, looks like we, it looks like we got a fan of the Knights of the Round. Well, um, I can't say I saw this coming. At least now we should be able to be a Ganesha and Lakshmi. Yes, five, uh, Arthur is in the five-star ticket. Mm-hmm. Right, well, the Artoria, Arthur, whatever you want to call her. Uh. <laughs> well, you yeah. see, Arthur is a limited five-star, because that is proto-Arthur that you're thinking of. Artoria? Yep. Oh, 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 boy. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. <clears throat> So, uh, oh this game likes to do a thing we would never select to call gender bending. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's the, there, yep. And King Arthur <laughs> is one of them? <laughs> Let's just say it, the, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't be surprised if you if you like look up a character in this game, like a historical figure or something, and they end up being a gender bend. Mm-hmm. Because they do that uh, pretty first. frequently in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. When in doubt, just blame Merlin. <laughs> More just, or less. Just blame Merlin. I, I blame Merlin for a lot of things, anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I said the line, senpai. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. I was busy with this. Oh, hey, Kung Fu! Kung Fu with a rate of oh, 20. Holy hell. Hey, Kung Fu Asparagus. How you doing, man? Uh, with a rate of 20. How's everybody? Hey, everybody. How's it going? Um, hey, Kung Fu. How, we're, how's we're your stream going? Of, we're, we're in the middle of doing Lost Belt 4 story. And... That we are. Uh, how, how'd your, how'd your uh, stream go? So, um, real quick while we're doing this, uh, well, I guess this is what we're here for those of you who are new around here. Hi, how's it going? I'm Quasi Quote. Um, I'm the guy who runs, who's kind of running the show around here. Hi. I am joined by two individuals here, uh, Jim and Mush, who are also here Hello. with me. Um, we mostly play FGO, among other things, that whenever I just kind of feel like doing single-player stuff. I recently started a Kirby playthrough, uh, yesterday, among other things. Uh, but what we mainly do around here is the three of us, uh, among, and sometimes I'll, a few others, will do VA stuff for FGO, uh, we'll talk, we'll talk nonsense, ad-lib a few times here and there, you know, just, just for fun. We're currently, like, reading through Lost Before Story, so if you like that sort of thing, uh, stick around, we can have a good time. We also, uh, did, recently did Rolls for Rome, and we did get Tim. <laughs> I just hope we don't run into more trouble on the way there. Indeed, I'm seeing a signal in the distant eastern sky. It's Arjuna! We can't let him catch up to us now! Floor Da Vinci! What do you think I'm doing, you damn detective? If you really want to help me go faster, then just leave me to it! Keeping the engine running at full speed without it blowing up our faces isn't as amazing as I make it out, you know? Yeah, Scandal Street is like the uh, adult version of Alexander, essentially. And he is a himbo. <laughs> In every sense of the word. And then you have Gilgamesh. Ah, uh, yes. The mongrel, the mongrel man himself. <laughs> Let's see. We love Iskandar. He, he, he is a dork and a doofus, and we love him for it. He's a pretty cool guy. Also, I believe the uh, English for... I also believe his English voice is, um... Pretty cut as a... You, if you literally just search a scanner and look at images, you, you get full on. Yeah. It, it's just all him. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. There's, yeah. There's, there's no historical whatsoever. Yeah, I, Ivan the Terrible is just a giant mammoth of a man. <laughs> yeah. I like that reaction. Of, that reaction of, I'm a Google Iskandar. God damn! <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get this party started. Napoleon, Napoleon is, yes, is. Napoleon's in here. Oh, yeah, that's why oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just can't not. Oh, like, people, yeah. I don't know why, but people like to, like to draw those two for, uh, <clears throat> reasons. <clears throat> They're big, idiotic himbos, and we love them. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, Jim, this is you, I'm pretty sure. This is, this is, I think this is God. Yeah. Yeah. I witnessed a foolish war. A foolish war that left me with nothing but one question. Everyone understood how foolish it was, so why couldn't we stop it? That much was obvious. It was all down to everything that was bad and wrong in the world. In other words, the root cause of all this foolishness was evil. This is the sort of thing that happens when we can't rid ourselves of evil. Being defective is evil. Being unnecessary is evil. Dishonesty is evil. Lawlessness is evil. Intolerance is evil. Distrust is evil. Adultery is evil. Disloyalty is evil. Bravado is evil. Deception. Deception is evil. Obliviousness is evil. Ignorance is evil. Decadence is evil. Jealousy is evil. Stupidity is evil. Avarice is evil. 
everyone knows these things are evil. So why can't we rid ourselves of them? So I made a wish. Perhaps I felt differently in other worlds, but here in this one, I wished that there was a way we could be rid of them. It was only after the war ended that I understood. The land stained red with my comrade's blood made it clear. The endless retribution, one cowardly act of violence begetting another, and on and on made it clear. The feeling of killing a hated rival with my own hands made it clear. The world simply cannot rid itself of evil on its own. There are a couple. Yeah, there are a couple. So if the world won't do it, someone else will have to. And if no one else is willing, that leaves only me. After all, the one who spilled the most blood on that land, the one most emblematic of the battlefield's evil foolishness, in other words, the most evil and foolish one of all was... I wish for a just and proper world. An obvious, comp completely ordinary world that no one would ever think to question. A world so pure and perfect that only newborns and gods could believe in it. A righteous world where people never killed one another. Fortunately, the power I needed to destroy all evil and create that world was right there for the taking. All right, we're about we're, we're getting close to reaching the dark hour from the looks of it. Ugh. That ain't good. Oh, he does not look happy. <laughs> he does not look happy at all. Oh, he is pissed. Yeah, there's also Jason, Medi, and Alante are also there. Uh, Orion's also uh, a character in this, too. <laughs> Among a few others, Asclepius, a few other Greek characters popped up too. Uh, Fate has a is like a melding pot of all different kinds of history, mythologies, and all that jazz. Currently, we're playing in the in, in an Indian area that's mostly Indian themed, ish. There are some characters that are not involved with it. They're kind of strewn in for good measure. We're yeah, yeah. So we're fighting against God, uh, our Juno right now, who's like one of the in, like one of the Indian heroes. Who decided his Minecraft world had to be the most perfect thing in existence. More or less. Oh right, I forgot that that was the joke about this. Yes, exactly from the Mahabharata. Yes. <laughs> what was that? Amana's firing magical energy blasted us from afar. Evasive maneuvers! Uh, damn it all! Karna was here earlier too, but uh... He got yeah. tactically nuked from orbit. <laughs> More or less. My, my. It looks like he's finally taking us seriously. Whatever you do, try not to slow us down, okay? Easy for you to say. But what else can we do? Our lives are in your hands, and those hands are driving this vehicle. Come to think of it, I guess the fate of this whole world is in your hands too, huh? Stop that. I'm under enough pressure as it is. Urgh. Does anyone have any good news for me, damn it? At this point, I don't even care if it's real or not. My apologies, Commander. I'm afraid I'm only seeing another abnormality in our nearby environment. Although, the state of the world just changed. Why now of all times? Hmm. Well, this is certainly less than optimal. It appears that the entire world is, standing, is starting to buckle under the strain of all these cycles. Never mind that now, Holmes. Can't you see... There are more urgent. We've got more urgent matters for that big brain of yours to focus on. Between the Kali, the Sacred Beast, and the Magical Energy Blast, there's just too much for me to keep track of alone. Boy, it'd be sure nice if a certain captain with nothing better to do was willing to help us out right now. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to beat uh, uh the um 
I'm trying to beat Gordolf's uh, score on that racing simulator. Also, I'm only here to upgrade the ship. I didn't sign up to be part of the crew. But I guess the circumstances are dire enough that I don't have a choice. And send, and this shouldn't be too difficult from detecting detecting torpedoes. Really? Whew, you're a lifesaver. Okay then, you handle the cannon fire. But since we don't have any decoys to lead the, them away, all I can do is read the incoming projectiles' trajectories. The, stream, the steersman piling the ship will have to handle the rest. I can still tell you when that to take evasive maneuvers, of course, but as far as whether we survive, the gods only know. Isn't surviving against a god exactly what we're trying to do here? Please, Director Gordolf, whatever you do, you have to get us... You just make us alive. Stay, keep us alive. Uh, all right. You want to do this thing? Let's do this thing! Drive, man, drive! Why does this look like something not from Fate, but like just a full-on uh, like action movie? <laughs> Fast and the Furious Nine looks very different now. <laughs> looks very different. Here comes the next one. Stay on course for the next five seconds and swerve. At this point, all I can do is laugh. Do try to keep the impossible demands to a minimum, my dear captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. I do hope we make it out of this. Oh, we're almost there now. Right. When I first saw I never would have thought that this could be what it really was. Can I ask a silly question? Why is it shaped like that? It's me. All I know is, Ganesha's the one handling that. She probably based it off of the most impenetrable thing she knew about. I don't know exactly what that could be, and I doubt she does either, except maybe in her subconscious. It is an impenetrable domain made from the sole purpose of ig ign <clears throat> ignoring the entire world. An alternate world that physically embodies the very concept of shutting oneself away. Given all that, it is no wonder we were unable to get a proper read on it. Furthermore, as it was made by a combination of both Ganesha and Lakshmi's magical energies, that made it impossible for either of them to sense what it actually was before they knew the truth. This is only the second time we're paying a visit, but it feels completely different now. The fact that it was nothing more than a large object whose nature and purpose was completely unknown to us. Alright. Now we're about to give it the purpose it's been waiting for. Now we are. Oh, I had a feeling that's what it was. It's time to go back to Skyboulder, Sky Boulder, to the place where Ganesha and Lakshmi are waiting. Yes, but not so fast. Remember what happened the last time we were here? You, uh, yeah. Uh, you can increase their noble phantasm level up to the level five. Right. So and you if can you have more than that. You can just. Yeah, there's a section in the enhancements enhancement menu where you can like go to noble phantasm. If you can feed a copy of that character to itself, so you can increase their MP level. Or their basically their ultimate, essentially. <laughs> Damn it, that's right. There are tons of Kali protecting it. Slowing down now would make it less sitting ducks. Full speed ahead! Now I see. Those Kali are here because of Lakshmi. Or rather, a Lakshmi. Since she has a connection to them, they must have been here lured here by the scent of her pure magical energy. And it's since become a Kali nesting ground of sorts. Hey, nice! Here. You have MP2 Herc? Nice. If we, if we keep going like this, Kali are going to start attacking the border. Please open up the side hedge homes. I'll go out there and try to fend them off. Well, guess I better head up to the roof then. Just make sure you don't lose your footing, got it? By the way, if you pull that hidden lever there, you'll find a porthole, so make good use of it. You still won't give me a break! Nope. Well, screw also, all of you. If, if you join the Discord, we do have a section specifically for helping out newer members of the Yeah, community. the Discord is open to anyone and everyone who wants to jump in. Uh, there are sections that are fate-related as well. 
If you want to ask questions there, there are plenty of people out there that are more than willing to like give advice and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we do have a friend code exchange room so that you can friend ourselves and other people from the Discord and be able to use their servants as well. Right. And heck, so sometimes people just put their friend codes in there just to show off. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, uh, also, not gonna lie, I no, I am no. immensely jealous over MP2 Her Heracles. I think mine's at MP3 now. Mm. I don't remember. How did you check? Yeah, I'm still up to. I'm only. I'm up to America, and I still haven't gotten MP2 Herc on that account. Oh Oof. yeah, they're firing at too rough. far. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, why? Because get good. <laughs> he is. He's a very. He is a very powerful four-star single-target berserker. I'm and, gonna. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, assume that you got him from the tutorial role because if that's the case, that is like the best case scenario. <laughs> Absolutely. Because he's like one of the best four stars in the game and just one of the best. I'm going to be general. like him when I was a kid. Oh, well, look, glad you got him. Meanwhile, my second archive on that account is just full of so many other good units that I cannot use. Because challenge. For a little bit of context, Mush over here is trying to play an account that only allows her to use Heracles. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because Bazaka. And hey, considering the fact that I've gotten up to America by doing this, I'm already considering that a success. Rome might end up getting my killing over here, unfortunately. He's also almost level 100. <laughs> I might not be able to survive this. Oh, Rome might not survive this, unfortunately. Hey, Guardian Soul! Hi, hey, Guardian Soul! With a rate of 2, how's it going? Azaka is the strongest. How's it going, Guardian and Co? Welcome to the stream! How y'all doing? How, how was your stream? What, what did you stream? FGO, I assume? Uh, just, uh... Oh, thank you, Nine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he was gonna die from the bomb strike anyway. That's fine. Nero can carry from here. Alright, Hans. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this to protect myself a little longer. Uh, yeah, just go with the Brave Chain. Go get him, Nero! Going good. Going good over here, Guardian. Um, we were... Going real good. We did our rolls for Rome earlier, uh, the stream, and we did get him. So I'm feeling pretty good about today. Well, welcome to the Discord. Hope you enjoy your stay. Ah, Bond 4. Nice. You just got him, and he's already bond four. What to be the fair, heck? they do give you a lot of bond experience during like during like later chapters and story stuff. So, or a good amount for like loving him to bond. So, yeah, welcome so to the Discord, ever. Got some Castoria quartz. Nice. Castoria quartz is always nice to get. I hope you're ready for this part, much because I'm pretty sure this is this is use coming up soon. Uh, oh, I see it. Uh, Have fun. Because this is all you for the most part, I think. If, if, if it's the thing I see on the list, I'm going to be, I am. <sighs> I'm still fine. Totally fine. Like I said, I still have plenty of video games to keep me occupied here. No interruptions, just me and my games. It's like heaven. What could be better than a place where all I have to do is grind? Being in needs the best. All I have to do now is keep doing exactly what I've been doing. The easiest job in the world. So, yeah. 
I'm not worried about this at all. I mean, why why would I be? <laughs> ah, not quite yet. We're here. Thankfully, the blasts from Verama are sending the nearby Kali scattering. Now's our chance! Thanks Thank you, Director Goridolf. You, you are an incredible Uber driver, good sir. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, my knees won't stop shaking. Oopsies, looks like the adrenaline finally wore off. I guess the rest of us will just have to take it up from here. In the meantime, great job, Director Golden Off. You actually really saved our asses. The collective ass, if you will. We can't talk at the border directly now that it's hiding in that thing's shadow. But no matter. We may not know what it is they're after, but whatever it is clearly has something to do with the Sky Boulder. Therefore, the answer's obvious. All you need to do is focus your godly power on breaking it apart. Even if the Sky Boulder has endured your cataclysms up to this point, a being of your abilities should still be able to destroy it if you focus solely on... The Sky Boulder. What is that? Wait, what? Does this mean you 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 couldn't see it all this time? It, it's it's right there! It's a giant cube just lying there! Just floating on the ground! It's how do you not see it? How? <sighs> now what to do? We made Domon speechless. That's impressive. I started to get a little bored. But I'm fine. Totally, totally fine. I can at least use my god power to make new games or some existing ones. It's got everything I need here. I do what I want. Got role playing games, strategy games, sim games, action games, puzzle games, adventure games, shooting games, racing games. I got fantasy worlds, sci fi worlds, stork worlds, modern day worlds. Video games are the pinnacle of human civilization. If you get tired of one, you can always move on to another. Man, it's so much fun. I love grinding and leveling up. I love looking for rare items. If I run out of things to do, there's no end of different challenge runs to try. Those logs are a thing. The sense of achievement I get from being those is all, it's all the sweeter since I'm doing them just for my own, their own sake. I'm having the time of my life here. I stopped counting the days forever ago. I'm bored. I'm a moaning machine, a complaining machine, a tantrum throwing machine, a crying machine. My mind's completely empty. I don't even want to think about what I'm thinking about. I just let my body do whatever it feels like at any given moment. Since nobody's watching, how's that any different from a broken machine? Repeating the same useless motion over and over. Wait. What? Is a machine. Crap, this isn't good. I could free end up freezing it at any time. Better make sure my important data is saved. Not that it'll matter if I end up falling apart completely. I think I'm remembering something unpleasant. I won't move. I can't move. I don't want to move. I won't do anything. I don't want to do anything. I have to at least do what I came here for. Time passes. Why isn't there anybody here? Why won't anyone talk to me? Why won't anyone respond to me? Why? 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 Why am I all alone? Uh, please, somebody, anybody, please, be with me. Don't leave me alone. 
I don't want to be alone forever. It is hell. So, for a bit of context, what's going on with that scene, for those that are curious, uh, basically, we sent someone back in time into a, uh, to kind of make sure that we could find this thing at the very end here, and, it's, and eventually, they're staying there to kind of confirm... Well, the long and short of it is that they're stuck on a giant rock, and they basically are having to wait the entire time from the beginning of time all the way to present day, just so we can see them again. For us, it's like a few minutes since we just send them back, but for them, they have to live through all that time alone for thousands of freaking years. Thousands upon thousands of years. <sighs> we can finally relieve them of their long duty. That, that cube shuts out everything from like, the outside world. The best example I can think of, um... Has anyone here watched Black Mirror? You know, that, you, you, know that, <laughs> you know that episode of White Christmas? The ending of White Christmas? Have you ever seen the ending of that episode? You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nyan, I hate it. <laughs> this is so good. The cube shuts out everything from the outside world. But there should be only one key that unlocks it. Go ahead, Master. <clears throat> Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Ahem. <clears throat> Somebody save me. Kill me. No, not yet. I can still keep going. After all, my old self didn't have anything. But myself here already knows. I don't even know who I am anymore. But I do know this. Even though I'm nobody special, there's someone waiting for me. There's someone who believes in me. And besides, I promised. Huh? Is that light? Yes, light. I can hear something coming from it, something far away and familiar. Yes, that's it. That's the one thing I never forgot. The one thing I've been waiting for all this time. A voice accepted me as I am. You know, you joke, Dia, but that would probably work. <laughs> Placed his hand delicately upon the cube surface. He knew they couldn't possibly be fine with this. He knew they couldn't possibly be okay. He knew all along, the two people waiting inside here are both liars. That's why this is a kind, oh-so-gentle mass of lies. A wall of determination, erected by the two people inside who decided to fight by lying. He takes a deep breath and readies the re reunion password in his mind. The password they agreed on mere moments slash eons ago. To tell them their job is finally over. Even shut-ins are allowed to see the sky.
Easy there. <laughs> How many centuries, millennia, has it been? Can't say. None of us spent it. I have any idea how long you spent like that. I do know your long, painful journey was a success. You should feel proud about that. Your... Um... That's right, I remember now. Forgive me, it's been so long since I took human form. I can't seem to stand up straight. That's right, you can lean on my shoulder as long as you need. But as I recall the problem, you said you're married. What's wrong with helping a woman who could barely stand? Sita would never have a problem with that. Besides, a Lakshmi, a Lakshmi is Lakshmi's sister, which also makes you Sita's sister. Surely there can't be anything wrong with a man caring for his sister-in-law. Welcome back, Lakshmi Bai. It's good to see you again this time. This time, at least. But I still... Lakshmi's okay! But, of course, her job was to be the outer shell and to use her divine core as the source of pure energy. The mental strain on her should have been all to be light since she spent all that time as an inanimate object. What about Ganesha? She had to stay conscious the entire time to keep their combined noble phantasm domain going. What about her? He might be a god, but she was still there all alone for must have felt like an eternity. She could have easily had a mental breakdown. Ganesha, are you okay? T talk to us! You're, yeah, um... Oh, right. I wrote it down on the notes in my save data file so I wouldn't forget. Chovo. That's right. You're Chovo. And I just use that as the key to use my godly wisdom power and reload my memories and... <sighs> Sorry, just taking a quick drink. Thank you, Skeletor. Mmm... I remember now. Damn, what took you guys so long? Uh, are you okay? Is your mind still intact? <laughs> well, uh, uh, not real. <laughs> More or less? Trust me, if anyone can handle being in a tiny room alone for a long time, it's a top tier neat like me. Of course, my body's pretty much useless right now. Yeah, that I'm atrophy sorry. kicking in. Uh, yeah, what? no. And she actually, like, stands up, and it's like her sleeves pull up, and her her arms are just twigs. Same with Atrophy. her legs. <laughs> uh, sorry, your master's was out pulling me and all my exes padding up. Oh, uh, but I, I knew it. Oof. Godspeed, Yamano. Is she looking past us? Is there something? No. Oh, someone there? Yeah, that's right. Maybe the only reason I was able to hang in there was because of what he asked me back then. <laughs> After all, I couldn't break my promise, couldn't I? Welcome back, Anisha. <laughs> and, oh yeah, real quick. Gear of Lost Bell 4, presumably. This number right here. What's that? Almost 12,000 years? <laughs> Yeesh. That is like the estimated time that it probably took for us to for them to finally for us to finally get Ganesha back, essentially, or for us to like finally see Ganesha. I cannot even begin to imagine. How, I wonder how like I can only imagine her like Sims playthrough. Twelve thousand years, yeah. Yeesh. Well, that's the estimated time it took for it, the what Ganesha spent in that cube, I believe, around that anyway. It's also like the time period of where we're currently at. That's where this like Lost Ball supposedly takes place, or where this like area takes place, and I should say. <clears throat> now the Ganesha and Lakshmi's existence has been confirmed here. We have proven beyond all doubt that Arjuna is not a perfect god. And because they have proven his flawed nature by enduring his massive world undoing cataclysms, the resulting drop in his divine power must have severe must be severe indeed. Good. It worked so damn well, I skipped being happy and went straight back to UNYIELDING RAGE! What's more, Arjuna's basically cursed now. 
Since I sent him back to the past, all that time they spent here only reinforces the concept, the concept that any god who can miss something like that for so long must be defective. I see. <clears throat> to put it another way, it's as though a loan someone forgot to put on the books has finally come due. And now that we've proven that loan exists, we have the right to change an exceptional amount of in interest. This should make for a spectacular show. There's nothing more exciting than a rival company on the verge of bankruptcy. Ah, the song! Now we should be able to actually hurt him. Hmm. Well, that's not good. That's not to say he's going to be an easy opponent. How many such stages the costumes? Ascension stages? Uh, technically, if we're talking like costumes for Queen Skya, well, playable six. Because there's two different versions of Queen Sky that are playable. Um, as far as actual co how many costumes she actually has, uh, how many Lost yes. Bolts are there? <laughs> so far, only six. Just a moment. As I see it, part of my job is keeping an eye on things the Chovo's group can't. And right now, that would be you. Oh. As Fatman? No! You're ending your own life here. Why? Ugh, you guys piss me off. Can't you tell, damn it? There are several reasons. First, I had to push myself way too hard to use Shiva's powers to send those two back in time. Second, I'm still technically Arjuna's servant. If worse comes to worst, he can end up making me hurt you guys. And finally, there's no point keeping anyone around who can't fight worth a damn. Of course, it pisses me the hell off. Don't worry. The moment those two were freed, the moment this world's destiny was thrown for a loop, I had already done what I could. And by that I mean my spirit core should still be good for something. Truth be told, I was already pretty much a shadow of myself by the time they got here. Or we got here. I know there's no point in saying this now. But Chovo thought he would get to fight beside you right to the end. I can tell you he's going to be real disappointed. <laughs> Well, who knows? Maybe he'll end up summoning me himself one day. Already have. That would be most encouraging. You are truly a dependable servant. You know, when you're not in a seething rage. And in future, Chovo there is bound to bear witness to any number of if scenes where he will be forced to stand by and bite his tongue, no matter how angry he, w he may wish to get. If you could be there by his side at times like that, I think that would mean a great deal indeed. Heh. <laughs> Guess you really do know the only kind of role I'm cut out to play. As for you, X-Master, you're the one who originally summoned me, so, uh... Sorry I couldn't be more help to you. I was supposed to be your servant, but boy did I ever fail on that. You still got every right to be angry at me. <laughs> I'm not angry. I know you couldn't help it. Believe me, I understand that sort of thing all too well. Maybe if I could get angry or upset on your behalf, it'd help you feel more appreciated as a servant. But I just can't. I don't know how to live my life that way. Sorry. The way you live your life, huh? While we're on the subject, let me say this. I was still your servant for a while, so I know this much about you. You might think you've lost your way, and that you don't deserve to be th thought of as a human anymore. But you're wrong. I think you put your foot right through the path you were heading, to, you were heading down to make extra damn sure you wouldn't get lost on it. Maybe I don't have any right to say this, seeing as how I was I snuck in and massacred all those people in the dead of night. But my comrades were all a, were all a bunch of good for nothings too. Especially uh, Doyo <clears throat> Doyo Dahana and the other hundred princes. Well, they were still good guys at heart. Anyway, I think we were fine just the way they were. Hey, Dr. Bob. They might still be good for nothings, but they lived their lives the best they could. I think that's all anyone can do. Yeah, I know. There's no right or wrong when it comes to living your life. But still, when you're born on the outside looking in on the world, there's not a whole lot you can do, right? So I get it. It's not one of those things that can just, that just, it's one of those things that just can't be helped. It's not worth complaining about to anyone, and it's not worth asserting my rights over either. I just 
can't help but think it's a shame that this world sometime, sometimes ends up producing outcasts like me. Man. Your resignation really colors everything in your life, doesn't it? That's why you feel bad for the world's lack of tolerance instead of it, instead of for yourself. That's why you're appalled by human society's failures to help people like you. You know? It takes a big person to think like that, too. I don't have a problem with it. Hell, I wouldn't have a job without it. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up running into you again someday as well. I'm sure you already know this, but as a servant, I'm not good for much except being a fiery ball of endless fury. But, if you still haven't learned your lesson and end up as my master again someday, I'll make sure to make up for your lack of fire by getting good and angry on your behalf. Even if you aren't able to muster up any anger on your own about the world's injustices, I've got rage enough for both of us. I think that's what I meant to do! <laughs> well, thank you, Ash Feldman. That will give me something to look forward to. <laughs> well, glad I got all that off my chest. I'm counting on all of you to take care of the rest. And by the rest, I mean that guy taking my place. I'm pretty sure you already know this, but he's not exactly the most graceful guy around. Goodbye, very angry archer. See you later. Once we're done with the spell, we come in and Dash is like, Where the hell have you been? Meanwhile, I knew it. I figured I'd find you here. It really pisses me off that you've been slacking. I have not been slacking off. I know that. I'm guessing this is the end. The place where Arjuna sends all the so-called failures he erases. A big old trash heap with no place, with no shape or form. Just different concepts floating around every which way. I figured you must still be drifting around here back when I saw you turn into Surya's light itself. Of course you knew. You were the one who said that. Uh, is there anyone who, who, more tightly wound than you? Freaking infuriating. Alright then, let's do this! We've only got a moment to pull it off. Even if times is basically meaningless here. Here's what's gonna happen! I'm gonna use everything I've got to pull you out of here, and you're gonna use everything you've got to climb the hell out! What do I have to do? It's easy. All you gotta do is be your, be ourselves. Long as we do that, we should be able to connect. All right, let's do it. If there's no concept of time here, all the better. I want to keep going until I'm satisfied. If the time we experience here has no meaning, that means we can use as much of it as we like. So why just go back as if I am now if I could use this time to train and get even stronger? The hell?! Any moment of existing in this space, we could be torn to shreds, and you want to train here? The hell is wrong with you? I'm just going to do the same thing Arjuna did. Now that I know how far he pushed himself, I have to do the same to meet him on even ground. The same thing he did? He must have pushed himself through tremendous hardships, before he preached his current state. It's one thing to say he collected every Indian divinity in, into himself, and another altogether to actually do so. He may rule this land now, but he has not transformed he has not transcended its bound its bonds. His current state is the answer he arrived at after countless hard decisions and tribulations. In which case, it would be the height of rudeness to challenge him as my ordinary self. So I will put myself through the same ordeals as he did as a sign of respect and of despair. I will only challenge him once I have pushed myself as far as I possibly can. As his brother, I owe him no less. And you are going to help me get there, Ashvataman. <laughs> You're too damn good for your own good, you know that? You're retaining as hell. But then, I guess that's how you've always been, isn't it? Alright then. I'm the one who's gonna get you, so I guess I got responsibility to see this through to the end. If you want to do this thing, we'll keep at it until you're good and satisfied. 
Come to think of it, I guess not caring about this time is something you and the guy outside got in common. I can't tell if you're a good match for each other or not. Alright, here I come, Hero Benefaction! Get ready for a world of pain! Alright, the battle against these two is, is about to start. Training, Training mo montage time! That's really what this is. I don't think you can- I think you actually cannot technically lose this fight. Because in this fight you have infinite guts. And you can attack those on oh. every turn. So you literally can't lose. <laughs> Which, you know, balances out by the fact that it's a Lancer versus an Archer. <laughs> I- I do a song request, but at the same time the music's already going. I don't really know if I could, like, do that without losing the audio for the- the- what's it going on? Twitch rules, and that as well. That- that too. I would love to, to get, don't get me wrong, I'd love to, like, put in music like that, but I- I can't chance it with Twitch sometimes. Also because I like- I- hang the VODs to YouTube. And then we gotta fight with YouTube on stuff like that. They can be an even worse about it, so there's that. Oh, he gets a defense down as well. Oh, that's- that's the- that's his buster uh, ability and play. Buster cards inflict a, inflict a defense down effect. You know what? Oh, Team Four Stars cover be a man. Fair <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. I would have loved that. Really, that would be great. <clears throat> Somehow I'll make a servant. Yeah, man! There are there are some songs that I could use, yes, and there are some royalty music royalty music I could use. I even use Pretzel on occasion, um, which is like a, uh, a streaming service that does let you uh, stream music that's that's technically free of copyright. Copyright. Um, but the thing is, the only music I can play on there right now that would that I technically play usually is Lo-Fi. So that's not really that fitting would... for the situation, now is it? <laughs> No, not really. Probably. But for now, we're just gonna keep it to the regular music, to the music in the game. For now, anyway. I, I really do think I should go and look for, like, other music to, like, add to this I could, like, potentially do. I should probably look up, like, copyright free music that I could, like, use for streams for, like, off days and stuff like that. Not enough. Now he has a permanent attack up. Uh... Lo-fi and beats beating your friend, too. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get my charge up. Ah, uh, yes, by the way, he's totally an archer, right? No, totally an archer, clearly. I mean, don't you know? The uh, archer class is always made up of archers. Yeah. And people die when they are killed. Oh, yeah, Valhalla music is also pretty good, too. I need to actually go back and finish Valhalla. It's a good, it's a good time. It's a good read. I mentioned the music is always a banger. By the way, Ryan, I meant to ask, how did the hard mode uh, salmon uh, fights go for you? How did the salmon arsenal fights go for you there? Hopefully better than it did when I was doing Jetstream Sam uh, playthrough a couple days ago last week. Or a little while ago. <laughs> oh, Yamano said a funny thing about this room earlier. If you look close enough in the background, you can see Sura climbing his way out yet again. First tries. Uh, yeah, I figured. I think I can get past this with just this chain. No, actually, that might have, I, might have, I might have been overestimating my damage. Never mind, I got a crit. We're good. Yeah, you're good. I think I can finish this off with the uh, with the NP. How many attack ups is that? Yeah, it can, it just keeps going. Like you can get like a lot of attack ups with this, and they and they don't go away. If I yeah, they don't go away. <laughs> 
That's seven attack ups. Yeah, this is more or less, more or less just an interact cutscene, and yeah, I haven't been sure it's rap in a long while. Yeah, we finished, I think. Yep, that's end. Good origin threshold. Oh. Alright. The train montage is complete! What's the score up to? I lost count at, at, at the high thousands! Damn it. Piss me the hell off how strong you are! You are impressively strong yourself. I truly think you are one of the strongest warriors I have met. Well? Did you do everything you wanted? I did. And I guess you got nothing to worry about. There's only one thing left to say now. Let's go fight together again. I'll even let you borrow me. Thank you. I accept with gratitude. Ha! <laughs> That's what I, what I like to hear. Now hurry up. Thank you, my friend. Your anger may be defective and improper, but there are still some lost hopes that only it can save. What's going on? No way. Is that... Ashvanaman's sport fear origin was at its limit. Even if his connection to Shiva did let him interfere with time, he still had to sacrifice a lot to pull it off. He did. So he chose to burn freely so he could leave a spirit core behind. Also, he could take advantage of the moment when Arjuna's fallibility was proven beyond a doubt. Because he believed that by doing so, a certain someone would come back using his spirit core as an anchor. What? <laughs> That's right, the possibility was always there. Would Arjuna ever absorb him and make him a part of himself? Absolutely not. Even if he did possess divinity, he is the one being Arjuna would almost certainly refuse to absorb. After all... Oh, my apologies, it would seem that the time is not yet right to speak of that. Uh, uh, Master... B -b 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 behind you! Ozzy <laughs> was really, really hard waiting for hundreds of thousands of years. But you did say we'd be sure to meet again. That's a promise of my book. I mean, after all, I knew that you of all people would never ever lie. And so we have met again. You did wonderful, Jinago Ka Karigi Kiri. Absolutely wonderful. I can tell you've grown since we last met. Your face is now as full of life as a beautiful spring flower. Yay. <laughs> Ow! Okay. That's fine, I didn't need my heart anyway. <laughs> I didn't need my feelings today. I'm not crying, you crying! <laughs> I didn't need my feelings today. <laughs> To clarify for those who don't know much about games outside of FGO in terms of the Fate universe. They were once master and servant, essentially. Yeah. And usually servants <sighs> lose their memory when they're resummoned again to a different time or place. Usually. There are some, like, weird shenanigans where that doesn't happen, but... It's been happening a lot more it, often it, it, than not, but, you know. You know. Anyway. Emotional damage. <laughs> More or less. All right. Well, we got pretty far. We beat Ash. We we got Ashvan to join us, and we also got past. We did the Skyboulder stuff, and we got Karna back. We got Ashvan, and then we, we lost, lost him. Ashvan, and then we got Karna in his place again. The world's currently ending. I think it's a good time for us to call it here. <laughs> But yeah, so tune. Uh, so next time we'll be doing Lost Belt Four stuff. We'll probably be. We got car. Yeah, we got car to unban. Let's go. Yeah, Ash was literally just Ash was literally just hacking the system to get car to back out. All right. Anyway, uh, tune in. We'll be seeing you guys for more FGO 
Saturday to finish up the Last of the Lost before story, where we will tackle set everything beyond the section 19 and beyond. And let me tell you, that's going to be hell. Anyway, and I, I will see you guys. And I, will, I will also see you guys uh, Thursday. Actually, let me go see who to raid real quick before we really keep doing anything else. I will see you guys um, Thursday for more Kirby uh, in the Forgotten Land. Uh, who is... Uh... We could go uh, for Danny. Uh, Danny. Who is... And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Danny. I will see you guys for Thursday for more of that. Anyway... I will see you guys later for more of your shenanigans and all that and more Kirby stuff later in the road. I will see you guys for more just stream shenanigans in general. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the raid. Good night, Good everyone. Good night, everybody.